ABC Sport. This is ABC Sports coverage of the 2024 AFL Gather Round. Running through 50, eyeing the sticks and nailing it. It's bouncing, it's through. That is simply sensational. Because here it comes, here it comes. AFL. On ABC Radio, ABC Sport Digital. And take us with you on the ABC Listener. Look for the AFL button. Two teams that are winless so far in the young season, both zip and three. The good news is that someone's O is going to go here today and who will salute for the first time in 2024. It's Fagan and Clarkson, friends to foes, and uh, it is North Melbourne and the Brisbane Lions. We are rocking the suburbs here on ABC Sport. We're out at the parade in Norwood, the second of three venues this weekend, and we'll tell you a little more about this historical venue as we move through. The team news, no late changes. Both sides already out on the ground warming up. We are not far away. James Tunstall is the sub for Brisbane, while for North Melbourne, it is Liam Shields. Mick Malthouse is the coaching games record holder, and Adam Ramanaskis is the Essendon Premiership player. Matt Clinch and I will call all of the action. Clinchy, something very different for us. We're so close to the action, you can almost reach out and touch it. Good to see you. Yeah, good afternoon, Ben. Good afternoon to everyone. It's great to be here in the suburbs, and as you said, such a uh, proud history in South Australian footy. 146 years uh, Norwood have been a part of the, the competition, and for those that are not aware, they are one of the most successful sides when it comes to premierships. They had an 11-year period where they were the dominant side from uh, 1878 to 1899, and all the history and tradition that comes with uh, being here at Norwood. So it's a slightly narrower ground, around 30 metres narrower than the MCG. So that'll be the challenge for both coaches uh, this afternoon, because I think whoever wins the centre clearance, there's only one direction you can go, and that's forward. Yeah, so basically the length, virtually the same as the MCG, but 29 metres, virtually 30, as you mentioned, Clinchy, uh, narrower than the MCG. So it is very uh, long and thin, as it is, and we've got a very straight boundary in front of us here today. Mick Malthouse, you charged to the ground. He didn't want to catch the uh, the cab like Rammer and I. You walked here. Great to see you as always, uh, Coach. You're on live, a, a, live footy on ABC Sport. Thanks, Benny. Clinchy, Rammer. I, I, I walked here because it's only, uh, it says 47 minutes, and you know that's for someone who walks backwards. <laughs> so, uh, But interesting enough, I came across a bloke. Uh, so he had a, had a, a Brisbane jumper, and I said, here you go, mate. And he said... Yeah, going well. I said, you over from, are you, where are you from, Brisbane? He said, no, I'm from Newcastle. He said, I'm going to catch up with seven games. Uh, watched last night. Love my football. And I thought, Newcastle? I mean, that just shows you the, the caliber, you know, what, what people are coming here. He watched seven games over this weekend. Then he, then he said, I'm not going to go straight to Melbourne. I'm going to go uh, to Brisbane. I'm going to go back to um, Melbourne and catch a few more games over there next next round. So uh, it, it's, it's a fantastic occasion. I've got to say... I was taken for it from it last year. I just thought it was just terrific. I haven't dimmed my view at all. It is just a great opportunity for, for people to watch the game in a variety of, as you said, variety of grounds, local, up in the bush, city. Um, the only thing I'd say, it's just as a point in probably in many respects that Brisbane are playing North Melbourne again. It would have been good if it had been mixed up a bit more. But, but nonetheless, if that's the worst thing, it's, it's, it's still a great great opportunity. So this is a, a rematch. These two teams played at Mount Barker last year. Yep. Mick, you and I did that game after a beautiful breakfast out in Harndorf. But, uh, hey, what do we have? Uh, <laughs> we had a big bratwurst, didn't we? It <laughs> did was we a, ever? <laughs> yeah, I think we were, we were dealing with it for the rest of the day in a <laughs> small, confined commentary box. So that was hard work. Mick, just be careful today. The benches are right beneath us. Yeah. They are three metres away from us. I make no exaggeration no. with that. So... Uh, if you give feedback like the coach that you are, we might get some coming back the other way. Uh, Adam Ramanaskis, great to see you. We spent all day together, really. <laughs> but great to be here at yeah, the parade. Yeah, caught a cab here. Yes, we did. That. We yes, had breakfast we, and lunch yeah, and went for a we walk. We took the, the, the smart route, Mick. Uh, we had a nice walk this morning around the uh, around the river, around Adelaide Oval there. But it is. It's great. Look, I absolutely love this. Being out in the suburbs, Clinch, you mentioned the history of... Uh, of the Norwood Football Club and how successful they've been. But you look at the surface here, um, you, you look at the people that have, have turned up, it's, it's just it's a terrific, terrific um, event to be at. And I, and I think it, you know, I know it's a sporting event, but you, you look outside the, occasion, the grounds, it? it is. It's a real big occasion, and I, and I love it. I'm, and I'm really looking forward to going to Mount Barker tomorrow. I played on this ground in 1998 for Vic Metro uh, versus... 
the country. So the, the under-18 championships, the Teal Cup back then, and the ground was two inches underwater. Just poured all day, but the surface now, there's not a blade of grass out of place. Oh, it is a beautiful setup. There are people standing at the Roger Woodcock end of the ground uh, beneath a can bar of, of sorts. I took people a little were, walk, Benny. I yep. had a little walk around, and uh, it's fair to say I think I could enjoy myself around this <laughs> yeah. ground. It Your is sort a, of people. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, we've got the outer side of the ground, which is the eastern wing. Uh, very populated people standing. There are some sort of townhouses yes. over the back. People on their back balcony peering over onto the ground watching it all. Not a cloud in the sky. The lights are on, but that's for later uh, this evening. We've got the old traditional grandstand down at the parade end, and uh, we are here on the western wing. Both sides warming up not far from the bounce. Uh, Friday afternoon football on ABC Sport. Uh, something Clinchy mentioned worried me. The fact that uh, out of the middle you can only really go forward. North Melbourne have conceded three scores of over 100 so far this season. Mm. The Brisbane Lions need a win to kickstart their season. A, a defib win, if you will. Is today going to be that, Mick? Well, I'm going I'm to hit Rammer with a question. And, I, and it's, it's, a, it's one that you wouldn't expect the answer to be. The, who, what, which players from each club are the clear the ball the most at this moment? Uh, for North Melbourne, it's, it's Luke Davies Uniac. He's been, been been the one. So, well, well Rema, I'm going to I'm going to correct you. I'm going to say the clearances, which will yeah. absolutely stun me when I look at this, is Oscar McInerney and Tristan Cherry. The two ruckmen. The two <laughs> yeah. ruckmen are their most clearance yeah. players, which I think is a credit to both of them because that means they they're following up their work. Correct. But throw in Cherry, and he is also. The highest tackling player yeah. for North Melbourne. Uh, McInerney's there as well. He's not, well, he's third, but, but it just shows you. Uh, and, and, well, and I'm going to say that none of them have recorded a win, but I tell you what, it's the right way to go if you've got players like yeah. that that are prepared to put uh, get their hands dirty. It's fantastic. I think, Nick, the challenge for North Melbourne will be defence today. Oh, like, yeah, you, yeah. We've, spoken, we've spoken about, you know, there's only one way from the centre bounce, and it's, it's to go four because the wings are so skinny here yeah. so you know uh, Dawson uh, um, Aiden Call, uh, Luke McDonald those guys there's it's going to be a big challenge I, I just I just get the feeling one of Cameron Hipwood or Danaher may have a day today and that was the, the record last year wasn't it uh, that Joe Danaher was able to get on a roll kick five goals four goals for Eric Hipwood is it hard when you're a coach Mick and there's a sense of unpredictability around this for Chris Fagan because in a normal venue you can control a lot more of the levers in a match, whereas in a game like today, it is just a little unpredictable as to what you might get from both sides, especially if it becomes an all-out attack. Well, I think Chris Fagan and Clarkson, to a degree, will be looking more at um, if he can get a, a W next to their name. but Because both sides... I think most, the football world expect Brisbane to win this and win it by, by a heck of a lot. I, I will challenge Brisbane today to see whether their forwards can communicate and actually like each other, because I don't know whether they do. They, they stand on each other's head. They compete for the same football. If they, all they need to do is look at Carlton or Geelong and know that you, there's no necessity to have your key forwards play right yeah. next to each other. That's, that's the biggest test today in my book. Yeah, Mackay and Kerno do it better than just about anyone. Uh, let's check in. Between the benches is Lauren Board and Loz. Come in. Oh, no dice, unfortunately, with Lauren Borden as it stands at the moment. Uh, papers are flying everywhere. Uh, Matthew Clinch has uh, lost a sheet of paper and had to scurry after it, but such is the uh, I was setting. willing to let it go, Benny. It doesn't yep. matter on a day like today. You just embrace it. Uh, the wind is blowing, and uh, there are no flags up here at Norwood to give us a, a strong indication, but the trees in the distance suggest that it's just favouring perhaps the parade end no, of the there's, ground. There's, there's the flags, there's on, the flags the, on the crane. On the crane, mate, just over in the, the back. background. Oh, they are too. Uh, I've got them now. Thank, Thank you. you, lads. No worries. Uh, over there on the building site, off in the distance, North Melbourne in their royal blue and white, white shorts, Brisbane in their home jumper with the coloured shorts on. The umpires, Chris Donlan, Nathan Toner, Nicholas McGuinness and James Strybos in position, just about ready to go. The parade is a picture. The second of our three venues here in Gather Round. This is Friday Arvo footy on ABC Sport. You're with Matthew Clinch. Brisbane and North Melbourne both looking for their maiden win as McInerney wins down the top for the Brisbane Lions. It spills out the way of Berry. He's dumped in a tackle by Tucker and the umpire will ball it up just to the left of the Senate circles. So a crowd of around 12,000 in capacity expected here on the parade. 
It's a beautiful Friday afternoon with the floodlights on, but the crowd very much enjoying the sunshine. Quick kick away by Dunkley. Gets it towards half forward. A chance for the Brisbane Lions to go inside 50 as McCluggage lays the tackle and the ball is locked up. So we have the Sir Edwin T. Smith Pavilion. That was first established back in 1929, Mick. So that's the end in which Brisbane are heading into the, the first quarter and the Roger Woodcock end at the other end. Over 600 goals for Nord, one of the icons of the Red Legs. With that wind starting to pick up, so North really got to make... Ball up at half forward, going after it, Sherry. It spits out towards Neil, runs inside 50, kicks into the pocket. Having to gather on the bounce is Cameron. Zigs and zags, gets back on the right, snaps on goal and kills it two. Charlie Cameron on target early. And the Brisbane Lions are off to a fast start on the parade. They're one straight six, North Melbourne yet to score. We've played one minute in the opening term here on live footy on ABC Sport. Mick Malthouse, the coaching games record holder, and Adam Ramanaskis, the Essendon Premiership player. Well, Ramat, it was an extraordinary good goal. Uh, for the, Clearly, a lot of people don't watch this and they listen to us. So he's running towards the boundary, cut around with his speed, was able to get back on his right foot across the face of goal. To me, that was going to be the test of what that win does. That ball still had enough hook in it to go through quite comfortably, so that it may be protected at that end because of the grandstand. But it was a very, very good start. Well, the interesting part, Mick, is who's who's Charlie Cameron's matchup at the moment. Bailey Scott is there now, but it was he Aiden Core on that occasion. Yeah. Yep. Back in the middle of the ground, Sherry wins down the tap for North, but Lockie Neal gets in down low. He's locked up, and the umpire will blow it up in the middle of Norwood Oval. Toss in the air, Wardlaw alongside McCluggage as Sherry tries to knock it down. Wardlaw trying to extract the footy. McInerney lays the tackle. And the umpire will do it once more. As Mick May mentioned, 18 clearances for Oscar McInerney through the opening three games of the Brisbane Lions. He's only had the one mark, though, so far, the Brisbane Ruckman. Tap down the way of Lockie Neal. Can't get a disposal away. Berry threw his arms back, wanting a free kick. It doesn't come. Wardlaw for North Melbourne. Hand pass away to Sheasel. Tucker right in front of our commentary position. Looks up towards Larky at half forward. Comes charging out. Payne almost juggled the mark. Not played. Wilcock gathers. Hand pass to Starkovich. Starkovich away to Zorko. Close to the boundary, but beyond it. And maybe the first well, example of those narrow boundaries. I think we should take a count today just to see how many go out in the full. That's the first. These are... Sh- Straight boundaries, so the line cannot be any straighter. So McDonald with the kick here for North. On his left, goes inside 50, looking for a marker. Larky underneath it. Big McInerney back for Brisbane. Drops the mark, gives it off to Leicester. Accidental spiral, clear and kick. Off hands, Rayner now under pressure. McDonald right there with him. And it'll be held in. We'll get a ball up. 55 out from the attacking goal for North, attacking the Roger Woodcock end in this first term. Charlie Cameron's goal, the only score through the opening three minutes. Throwing up, Sherry wins down the tap to Dave Vizuniak, who spears onto his right-hand side, kicks Ooh. inside 50, Harris Andrews, what a mark. Mm. Almost was tunnelled underneath by Leicester, but was able to take the mark in front of Heat and Greenwood. The ever-reliable Brisbane defender goes short to Josh Dunkley, who yep. was counted into the back by Luke McDonald, and that will be 50. You can see a lot more than McDonald was trying to do. He's trying to hold up uh, Dunkley because the runners were coming past already. Doesn't wait for the full 50. He wants to move it through the middle of the ground because Lester's free. Runs to the edge of the centre square. Goes long towards Danaher. Works his way to the front and takes the mark. Cor and Comden were both there, but it was all too easy for Joe Danaher and a chance for Brisbane to kick the opening. Two goals of the match. He steps out, snaps on his left. Into the crowd it goes at the Sir Edward T. Smith Pavilion. Brisbane with a fast start here at Norwood. The opening two goals going the way of the Brisbane Lions through four and a half minutes. Well, it was very predictable, yeah. Ramo. Yeah. Straight up the middle, straight up the middle, and um, that, that was a nut mark. In a, re- a lot of traffic for start off. A silly 50 metres. I still think it's a silly 50 metres, but what gets me is the, the, the ease in which North, uh, which Brisbane Rail will take it out of North's forward line. Yeah, you go back to the mark, Mick. So Harris Andrews takes mark. Really a pretty easy mark. Easy Could mark. have been um, uh, him or Leicester. Yeah. But you didn't, the ball. You don't. You watch the 50 metre penalty, but you don't watch North Melbourne transition back quick enough. No, no. And that's where the issue lies for North in in their defensive game. So ball goes in, and it's Danaher and, and Charlie Compton. I, I imagine wouldn't have played much defence at all in his career. He was drafted as a forward. He has the matchup on Joe Danaher today. Kicked five goals in the fixture. Last year, Joe Danaher in the middle. McInerney knocks it down. Coming through Dunkley there for Brisbane. Throws a boot at it. 
Spills out towards Hipwood. Gets a handball away to Berry. Off to McCluggage. Chips it forward. Mark taken by Bailey. I have forward here for the Lions. Nothing he likes initially. So drives it towards full forward. Coming across from the side. Dawson knocks it down. Danaher onto it. Loses it. Getting involved quickly. There is McCarthy wrapped up. And a ball up to come. 30 out from the attacking goal. Here for the Lions. It's all been Brisbane an ominous start. 5-2, to two, the inside 50 is the way of Brisbane early. A chance for McCluggage who tries to find a way forward. He lost his footing and the North Melbourne defence cannons around him. So the umpire to ball it out in the right forward pocket for the Brisbane Lions. They're two straight 12 to North Melbourne, yet to score. As the umpire throws it in the air. Sherry tries to take another ruck. Danaher lays the tackle. Hand pass towards the boundary line. Berry for Brisbane. Got the hand pass from Bailey. Back to Bailey, trying to charge his way through. Sheasel and McKercher lay the tackle and the umpire will ball it up just 40 metres out from the mm. Brisbane Lions goal. There's nothing clean about North Melbourne at the moment. There's not only nothing clean, they've got no space to move. Umpire puts it aloft. Sherry tapping it down to himself. Gets a handball away to Davies Uniac. Clear and kick up to the wing. Onto the gather round logo. It tumbles end over end close to the line. Lester arrives. He's tackled out by Greenwood. Uh, throw in to come just short of halfway for North Melbourne. Just just they've, got a chance. they've got a chance, they've got a score here from this. I, I know it's only on the wing, but they've got a score from this just to settle the, the score, one of the score line down, just to take it away from, from Brisbane. The voice of Mick Moldhouse with you on ABC Sport from the throw-in. On all fours, it's knocked out by Berry. To Lockie nearly tries to keep it in play. Found a way around Wardlaw. Hand pass to McCluggage, who's set up. Charging in, Eddie Ford laid the bump. The ball spills clear. Simpkin comes in for North Melbourne. Hand pass away to Curtis. Too slow in the end. As that drag down once more, he is forward once more. The Brisbane Lions take back possession. The hand pass is just a little too slick for Fletcher. And Sheasel for North Melbourne regathers. Kicks out to Simpkin at right half forward. He's at the edge of the centre square and looks inside 50. He had, Sherry. A, ch- he had a chance to play on there, yeah. Matt. He should have done it. Sherry's pushed forward as well, but it's Greenwood and Larky. And Larky out on the lead, takes the mark. Arms outstretched as he takes it in front of Payne. And a chance for North Melbourne to yeah. kick their opening well, goal. Well, it was patient, Mick, because you, you want to roll and go a lot yeah. of the time there and get the ball in, but he just he just found the hole. Like, Nick Larkey's a very smart forward. Yeah, he and quick. Yeah, but he doesn't lead to where where a contest is going to be. And on that occasion, it was basically right up the guts of, of 50 that he's led and simply good enough to hit the target. Nick Larkey looking to get the Kangas going. He comes in, pokes at it, and steers it straight through the middle. North Melbourne are on the board after eight minutes after the Brisbane Lions kick the opening two goals of the match. The Lions two straight 12, North Melbourne one straight six. You with Adam Romanaskis and Mick Moldhouse. He's a very impressive player, Nick Lark. He's really impressive. He's he's probably the lone forward when you when you, when you you analyse everything wow. compared to, say, Brisbane, who have got a number of players that are capable of kicking plus three, plus four goals. But just on that, I, 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 I know everyone raves about um, Harris Andrews. I just, I think he takes back spot too often and against a leading player. And I remember against uh, Carlton in the first game when they, when they got beaten, he allowed uh, McKay to, to, to run onto the ball, McKay to run onto the ball. And he just allows players far too much ease to find that space. Beautiful setting at the parade. Sherry knocks it down again, follows up himself, bundles over Dunkley, then hacks it out of midair. Inside attacking 50, wide out at half forward. Greenwood onto it. He's tackled quickly, taken to ground, and a ball up to come right on the arc of attacking 50. He's playing as a key forward this year, Hugh Greenwood. Well, he's playing on Harris Andrews today. That's, his role is to keep Harris Andrews from intercept, uh, intercept marking. Sherry wins it down. Going after it, Simkin. Davies Uniac goes in, tackled by Stasevich. Then winning it quickly, able to give it back to him. Fletcher, clear and kick. Marked by Ford for North at half forward. Good set up by Ford. Stood off that. It was always going to be a mongrel ball that came out of there. He looks long towards Larky and Greenwood. It never got to them in the end. And working back, Oscar yeah. McInerney he takes the mark. It's too skinny, oh. that entry. It's got, to, it's, got to give his, it's got to give his forwards a chance. Hand pass around the back to Fletcher. Danaher was dragged out of the marking contest. He wanted a free kick. The umpire says throw it in as it goes out of play at left half forward. This is sort of the concrete wall side here at uh, the parade where the benches are. And our open-air commentary position is the sun coming through. And Sherry and McInerney battle. It comes down to Davies Uniang. Wardlow is bumped into. 
Footy comes loose and Davies Uniac gathers. A centering ball inside 50. It's over the head of Larky. Harris Andrews uses his foot cleverly to clear it away. A chance for North Melbourne here. Dodging and weaving. The chip kick at Miss Fisher from Stevens, the attender target. And here go Brisbane on the counter attack. Lohman around the outer side. He works it out to McCarthy at left half back. So McCarthy happy to just stop for a moment. Then kicks infield to Stasevich. Just got to defend the corridor. Stasevich moves it on. Answorth will kick long towards half forward in the Danaher direction. Doesn't take the mark down at ground level. Forward there for North Melbourne. Gets a handball away to Grass. McInerney goes in for Brisbane. Wins the footy. Shovels out a handball. And Dunkley quickly wrapped up. A ball up to come. Brisbane leading by six points. We're at the parade. We'll continue to tell you more about the history of this great place as we work through the afternoon. 31 premierships. The Red Legs have won in the Sample. We are at their home ground as McInerney got a hand pass out to Lockie Neal. Hand pass to Zorko in congestion. Gets the hand pass away. Kick inside 50 by Answorth, but the mark is taken by Dawson. The North Melbourne defender who's been alongside Charlie Cameron at times, playing as the deepest defender. It's probably not the matchup he would look for. As he looks to kick the Kangas up towards halfback. Sherry the target in from the side. Rayner almost claimed the mark. Couldn't hang on to it. As the tackle is laid and the ball is locked up. With Answorth coming over the top and uh, Luke Davies Uniac, the last to rise just between wing and half forward for the Brisbane Lions. They lead by six points. Umpire puts it aloft. McInerney slaps it down onto a Dunkley. He taps it on as well. Getting back Davies Uniac, stripped of the football. Brisbane back in possession. Free kick, in fact. It'll come back. Davies Uniac was held. He dropped the football. Did he ever? Yeah. He didn't want the football. No, so... <laughs> Lions by six points. Short kick for Tucker. A good one. North at left half back. No one should find space in the corridor on no. this ground. It's, it's, you know, that's why you've got to move the ball quick. Tucker kicks long. Ford of the logo. Big pack form. Spills out the back. Stasevich there for Brisbane. Will kick around the corner towards Dunkley. Spoils it down. Powell onto it. Tackle quickly by Archie. Wrapped up. Taken to ground. And a ball up to come. No holding the ball. Free kick going the way of Archie in Brisbane. The Lions lead by six points. Matt Clinch, Ben Cameron, Mick Malthouse, Adam Ramanaskis. Live footy on ABC Sport. Yeah, fair decision, that. He had a chance. He had a chance. Tried to get rid of it. Kept it. You can hear the proximity of the footy to our commentary position as Cal Archie up towards Danaher at half forward. Can't take the mark. Lohman gathers inside 50, looking for Hipwood. Getting a touch onto his stores and Hipwood back onto it. Trying to curl it late. He misses across the face. Didn't quite strike it as purely as he would like. A minor score for Brisbane. Their first of the match. They're 2 1 13 to North Melbourne. One straight six. That big crowd behind the goals, isn't it? It's just fantastic. It's just absolutely chockers. Absolutely chockers. As Fisher kicks up to the wing for North from the kick in. Harris Andrews brings it down to the front. Greenwood roving. Tackled quickly. Would love to hear from you. 0437 774 774. That's the SMS line number. Brisbane by seven points. In the shadows of the grandstand on this western wing. Greenwood doing the ruck work. Dunkley able to get a handball away. Off to Archie. Left foot kick. Up and down. It'll come down at half forward for Brisbane. Lohman can't mark. Whistle on the play. Free kick. It'll go to Lohman. So Brisbane with it at half forward. Yeah, another another free kick. Really silly free kick. It's so obvious. The umpires look for that blocking. Always. Especially when the ball's going to sit in the air. Lohman could go wide to Josh Dunkley. He marks just outside 50. Wants to send it into the pocket. Bailey the target, but in from the side. Hipwood takes uh, the mark. It was always intended for Hipwood, that one clinchy. So it's just the ease of getting away from your direct opponent there. Like, good lead by Hipwood, but 10, his direct opponent meters. should be up his backside. Yeah, what do you reckon? Charlie Compton might, 10 to 15 metres? Yeah. At least. Charlie Compton might get a on-field lesson in defending this afternoon. Yeah. If, that's well, the way Brisbane can move the ball. Well, they're out of form, these two big blokes. They're going to make them into, bring them into form. Airport around the body, trying to curl it through the middle. He missed the first to the left. He misses this one to the right. Two behinds for Eric Hipwood. Brisbane lead by eight points. 14 minutes gone. Opening term, Friday afternoon footy on ABC Sport. Sheasel with the kick in as long as he can in the larky direction. Punched away from him by Payne. Comes down in the hands of Neil. Gets away from a couple for Brisbane. Kicks to half forward. Gardner leads up and marks. Pirouettes. Kicks into the pocket. Hipwood on the end of it. That's Can't better. mark. Comes down at ground level. Bailey arrives for Brisbane. Left forward pocket. Handball to himself. Kevin Bartlett style. And don't argue. He's tackled. McKercher doesn't let him go. Handball away under pressure. North mop up. 
Sheasel Ooh. back to McKercher, clear and kick. Big fly at half back. It's Danaher who rises his way to the front and takes the mark, and he is within range. Yeah, no doubt. 50 metres out, slightly left of centre. It just sat up beautifully for him. Trying well, to just, get behind the ball well, and was able to comfortably take the chest mark. Just that rush kick, Mick. Well, it's a rush kick, but North haven't got no. an extra tall that can defend it. They had Larky against, what, three tall players. So North have got to restructure this. We've got to get another, especially when you've got the breeze. Socks up. Joe Danaher veers out to the left. Has one already. Shooting for his second. Into the crowd it goes. Danaher with his second. And the Brisbane Lions extend their lead to a 14-point advantage. They're 3-2-20 to North Melbourne. One straight six. 16 minutes gone. Opening term on the parade here with Mick Malthouse and Adam Romanaskis. Well, it's just, it's just like McKercher did so well with the tackle on, yeah. on Bailey. Bailey tried to, to fight through and McKercher was able to hold it. Then North Melbourne win the back. It go, the ball goes to McKercher, and it's a blast kick. Yeah. Like, that blast kick, it's okay, but it's got to be close to the boundary. So yeah. he's kicked it almost back central. And Brisbane had set up really well behind the ball there. Danaher comes and takes that, takes that mark, and he's a beautiful kick from outside 50. Joey, you, you feel more confident when he's kicking, kicking the ball from outside 50 rather than, rather than closer to goal. Is that wind going? I'm just trying to look at the... the it looks like it's going across the ground more so than up and down the ground. Five goals in the corresponding fixture last year. Out of the middle, power handball knocked down, though, by Neil. Comes to McKercher, evades a couple, running backwards for North. Handball away to Scott. Ford handball chopped off by McCarthy. Brisbane back the other way. A kick for Danaher. Overshoots him. There is Dawson under pressure. Closed down by Danaher. Gets a handball away. And now getting back involved, Brisbane through Rayner. At half forward. Little spin, handball away to Bailey. Handball to Archie. Archie will get around a couple. He'll snap into the pocket, looking for a marker. Bouncing ball in the pocket. Slapped away onto it, Neil. He's wrapped up in a tackle. Scott will take him down for North. Ball up, right forward pocket. Brisbane lead by 14, 17 gone in the first. Inside 50s are starting to become a bit of an issue. As uh, Brisbane have dominated this opening term, leading by 14 points. Sherry tries to take another ruck, gets the hand pass around the back. Wardlaw's under pressure. He drives a kick up towards halfback. Underneath it, Wilmot and Sibkin. It's knocked away out in the path of Fletcher. One way, then the other. Hand pass to Answorth at right half forward. Sends a driving kick looking for Hipwood. It's over his head. Racing onto it. Gardner can't gather. Getting back. North have the numbers. Tucker receives the hand pass in the right back pocket. He sends a driving kick up towards Larky on the wing. He and Payne battle in the air. It clears over the back. Simpkin racing after it. Larky as well, but the boundary line will win out. And throw in centre wing on the outer side. Brisbane leading by 14 points. 18 minutes gone opening term. Well, that, that discrepancy in the 50 metres is simply that North aren't getting their hands on, on the football. And they're not getting the hands on the football from the half back line. And then they're not, and if they do, they're not running the ball. They're getting caught and kicking the ball and getting trapped in the middle of the ground. And Mick Voltaus here on ABC Sport coming away with it from the throw in north. Tucker, time to steady and kick long. Shallow inside 50 entry. Andrews puts his fist through it, punches it away. Out of play, a throw in right beneath the old school scoreboard here at the parade. The old tiles with the, the numbers on them. It reads Brisbane 3 2 20. The Kangaroos one straight six. Nearly 19 minutes gone in this opening term. Yeah, and for those North Melbourne supporters, I'm almost convinced now that that wind is going across the ground, so maybe it's not as an advantage as we first thought. Thrown in. Sherry tries to clear a path against McInerney. Throwing a boot at it was Wardlaw. It trickles towards the goals. Greenwood gathers, trying to bounce it towards the goal mouth. It's offline. Payne under pressure. Great tackle from Sipkin. Zorko taps it to his own advantage, close to the boundary line. And then eventually across through the pressure from Nick Larkey. A throw-in in the left forward pocket for the Kangaroos. They're one straight six to the Brisbane Lions. 3-2-20. At the Roger Woodcock end of Norwood Oval as it's thrown back in. Kangas deep in attack. Shuri wins down the tap. And then the tackle on Neil. Did he have prior opportunity? He did. Holding the ball. Wow. Great effort from the Ruckman to follow up his initial work and a layer tackle to result in a shot on goal. It's fantastic. I've got a feeling he might have clipped him on the heels. That's the only thing. But, again, that's what I said before the game. Isn't it incredible how a young Ruckman like this is their number one tackle but also clearance player? So that is great follow-up, all with the fact that he may well have legged him. You might be able to hear the additional commentary from Luke Davies-Uniak, who's right below us, issuing instructions from on the boundary. 
Tristan Cherry with 14 goals so far for his career. He's out to the left. This would be a good effort. Starts at right, bends it back left, and through it goes. A great individual effort to try and give the Kangas some spirit to lift on. Yeah, fantastic. Second goal for North Melbourne. They're two straight oh, 12. They're checking it, Clinchy. It's a Brisbane 3 2 20. Hang on. Snicko. Hang on. What, the post? Surely you couldn't get that wrong. Oh. The goal up by you're underneath it. Just try and have a look as to whether it brushed the right goalpost on the way through. Come on, Clitch, you had the binoculars. What do you reckon? Uh, it's a bit far away from me, Mick. No, <laughs> you've got good binoculars. <laughs> it looked pretty binoculars good. For. I was watching through the binoculars. It looked pretty good, <laughs> yeah. as I called it. But uh, it wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong. So they have the, uh, the new electronic scoreboard, which we have the luxury of being able to see. And that shows it is a goal for North Melbourne. They're second. And a great effort from Tristan Cherry, the 25-year-old, 202 centimetres to firstly lay the tackle and then finish with the goal. Brisbane's lead has cut to eight points, 3-2-20 to North, two straight 12. Yeah, I think you make a terrific point about uh, Tristan Cherry. As a ruckman, you, you, all you want is effort, really, yeah, out yeah, of him. That's yeah. what you want. You want it to be physical. And follow-up. Yeah, and I, I think he's showing that. So you get rid of Todd Goldstein, who was a very good player for... For North Melbourne, you give the opportunity uh, to to Sherry, and he's 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 doing a good job. He's doing a great job, yeah. And, and I don't know whether you can carry two ruckmen like that. He, he he would be held back if Goldstein was here. Adam Ramanowskis and Mick Malthouse here on ABC Sport trying to hook it down. McInerney Neil picks it up. Little one-two with Dunkley runs around the back. Now takes a bounce. Lockie Neil chips it short. Coming up, dropping the mark. There is Gardner and. Neil goes back and gets it. Feeds a handball out to Answorth. Chips the ball into the pocket. Looking for a marker. Lohman. Lohman goes up high and brings it down. 30 out. Slight angle to the right-hand side. He's a decent player, this kid. What's him a fair bit of just... Can't quite work out why he hasn't played probably... Look, he didn't, didn't, didn't play the opening game. Um, he's a bit more... I think he knows where the ball's going to fall. He's just been watching him today. He just gets in the right spots. Kick 30 goals in the VFL last year. Kai Lohman. Right foot set shot. Does not deviate. Holds out his hands and says, how do you like that? Brisbane answer again. They're out by 14 points. 4-2-26. Plays two straight 12. 22 minutes played. Opening term. This is Gather Round Footy on ABC Sport. Mick Malthouse. And Adam Romanowski. You know why he's so good? Why? He comes from Wendery, Lake Wendery, St. <laughs> uh, Pat's go. College. I'm not, Saint, you know that? I'm not St. Pat's, I'm St. Paul's. But he does come from Wendery, and I'll say, probably not Wendery West, but Wendery. That's enough for me to know that he's going to be a good player. Well, uh, I think it's just where to play him. He looks like a natural forward. Forward, he does. Yeah. So, you know, can he now establish himself in, in that forward line? So... You look at Hipwood, Danaher, uh, Charlie Cameron, uh, Cam Rayner's there, uh, uh, McCarthy's there. So they, they've got they've got options down there. It's it's where does he fit into that mix? Playing his twelfth game, the twenty year old Kai Lohman who gets on the board, and Brisbane all of a sudden have taken four to one marks inside fifty from the stoppage. A free kick going the way of Berry who was pushed in the back. Hand pass away to Zorko drives it inside fifty. Hipwood the target can't take the mark. It clears Dawson and Cobden. McCarthy's onto it hard against the boundary, and Dawson does the smothering. It ricochets off his head and goes out of play in the left forward pocket for the Brisbane Lions. Not easy to do that, Clinchy. No. It's good in soccer, not as good yeah, in footy. It's, and it's not meant for. <laughs> no. 4-2, 26, the Brisbane Lions to North Melbourne. Two straight, 12. Matt Clinch alongside Ben Cameron calling the action. Lauren Borden's down on the boundary. Mick Moldhouse and Adam Romanaskis with you on ABC Sport. Sherry and Hipwood doing the ruck work. Hipwood tries to take it out of the ruck. He jams it onto his right boot. It's a high kick across the face of goal. Going back, Gardner with the flight. Good defensive intent shown by Luke McDonald, who spoils it out of play with support from Dawson. Into the uh, parade end under the Sir Edwin T. Smith Pavilion, which was first built back in the 1920s, and the players' race is underneath that. So, a great piece of history and a throwback to yesteryear as it's thrown back into play. Sherry tries to take it out of the ruck. Tackle by McInerney. Did have prior opportunity. The umpire said he did. So, Eric Hipwood will end up with the resulting shot on goal, having laid the tackle. He's in the right forward pocket, only around 25 metres around. Yes. Yes. 
But should they do give the, the Ruckman just a little bit more leniency if they do try and take it out of the Ruck, but not on that occasion? Well, they're allowed to take it out of the Ruck. That's the whole thing. It's, it's how you get rid of the ball from there on in. But you've got... Like, it's not automatic now, a free kick, so... I don't, We'll have to look at it again. We, we're not, we haven't got the... Ca- we got no monitors. No. We're back to the old school of watching footy, Mick. Whatever we see is right in front of us. Yeah, exactly. Eric Kipwood has sprayed one to the right, one to the left. How does he go with his third? On a 45-degree angle, 25 metres out. Hipwood comes in and steers it through this time. Brisbane with a couple of quick goals on the trot in the last three minutes to open up a 20-point advantage heading towards quarter time. 5-2-32. To North Melbourne, two straight 12. Joe Danaher has a couple of goals. Eric Hipwood with his first. But that, that, this is the issue. So that's what Hipwood's third. A shot, shot of goal. goal is, yeah. Danaher's had two. Yeah, so five. There's, there's five between them as as the big key forward. So, you know, I understand North are the shorthanded down there and their, their defenders are young, but... You've got to work. You've got to work out what's best matchup, what's best practice. Here. How do we, how do we defend together as a unit? So, on that occasion, it was hit with, uh, out of the ruck, getting the free kick. But it's still an issue. Yeah, of course it is. And, and, and even medium size too, because yeah. I just watched Cameron stay off that. He wasn't blocked no. at all running through there. Sorry, Mick. Keep your text coming. Zero four three seven 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 four seven seven four. Restart in the middle. Wardlaw able to slap it on. Dunkley applying a tackle. And we'll go again in the middle. Uh, John in West Footscray says, I wish the AFL would spread these gather rounds to other states. And each state could promote their game rather than just Adelaide. What's your opinion? We'll come back to that. A loose footy in the middle of the ground. Going in Wardlaw. Eventually emerging. Davies Uniac scrubs a kick forward. Bouncing ball onto it. Wilmot quickly back the other way. Brisbane tumbling kick out to the wing. Sheasel tracking it. Slips over. Getting there. Fisher handball away. Off the core. Off the tucker. Back to Sheasel. Down the outer side wing they go north. Looks up towards Simpkin at half forward. Can't quite take the mark. Wilmot gave a good account of himself. Then locks the footy to the chest of Jaden Stevenson. And the umpire will ball it up. Just short of centre-half forward for North Melbourne. Brisbane by 20 points. So share it around or leave it in Adelaide? No, I'd leave it in Adelaide for fruit. And I know they've got it for, what, for three or four years anyway. So I, I don't see anything wrong with that right, right now. Sorry, Mick McInerney followed up his right work. Got the hand pass away to Perry. Kicks out towards McCarthy. He marks it left half forward. Up to Joe Danaher on the lead. This is all too easy. Transition for Brisbane. Drives it long. Gardner the target. He takes the mark. Charlie Cameron was looking to skirt around the back, but uh, he's got a free kick. Gardner lunging his body back, but it is going to be a free kick. For, for what reason? I'm not sure. Wow, well, that's a little push there, Mick. But I don't know. So that, that's uh, the other one too, Rama. You know, you got Gardner down there who, who also yeah. can, uh, takes them in the air. So. So Kalen Dawson gets a free kick for North Melbourne. Kicks up towards Zerhar at half back. Can't take the mark, but his first onto it. Quick one, two, almost run down. Got the hand pass away at the last moment to Davies Uniac. Tackle by Neil. Spills out to Berry of Brisbane. Hand pass back to Neil. Has McCarthy who kept running. Gathers 45 metres out from home. Swings onto his left. Kicks towards Lowman. Wrestling one on one at the top of the square. Spoil came away. Cameron slipped over, then lays a row, a bone shattering tackle at the top of the goal square for the Brisbane Lions. He's been quite at the peak of his power, Charlie Cameron, but that was a good tackle to ensure North had no easy outlet. 15 metres out from Brisbane's goal. Danaher and Sherry. Sherry tries to take another ruck. It's stuck underneath him. The tackle is laid by Cameron and Dunkley. And the umpire will throw it up in the air. Brisbane leading by 20 points. Keep your text coming. Umpire puts it up. Danaher getting very high in the ruck. Shovels out a handball. Loman onto it. Wrapped up quickly in a tackle. Taken to ground. And a ball up to come. Another one. 20 out from the attacking goal here for Brisbane. At the parade end of the ground. Up it goes. Sherry knocking it down. Quickly onto it. Go north. Dunkley getting involved. Handball away to Gardner. Now Rayner out to... Lohman who dribbles a kick forward coming through again suck it on Zorko with the soccer finish he dribbles it through for a goal mm. and it is all Brisbane here on the parade they're out by 26 points 6 2 38 plays two straight 12 29 minutes into this first term gather around footy on ABC Sport Mick Malthouse Adam Ramanaskis just the, the, overwhelming well the, the, there's so many players around that contest and then Zorko's the smart one. He, he stands off. 
So he stands off that contest, and then he's able, once the ball spills out, he's able to hit it at, at speed. Now, albeit it's a, it's a soccer goal, but he's not standing still. No. And that's where the North, again, the North defender, he's on his heels. Yeah. He should have his arm across him. Yeah. Ramarong, I'll ask you this question. You reckon North, just what I've noticed, are overusing the ball yeah. instead of getting the ball inside their front 50? Just, just, just one or two hand passes too many? Kick. Just kick the ball here. Yeah. Skinny ground. You, yeah. you take territory. Nick Moldhouse and Adam Romanaskis with you on ABC Sport. Brisbane with the last three goals of the match. Yes, the ball is going to be recalled in the middle of the ground. No chance to break away as McInerney and Sherry tangle. Sherry wins down the tap looking for Powell. Can't gather it cleanly. Over the top of it is Sheasel and Lohman over the top of him. So Brisbane have put on six goals to two as Harry Sheasel gets a free kick for over the shoulder. He works it to half back. Core trying to find a way past Gardner. Had to come back to McDonald. It's his problem now. Hand pass to Dawson under pressure. Lost his footing. Gardner ch- charges into him. A chance still for North, though, as Luke McDonald regathers. Kicks a high ball towards Curtis. Can't take the mark. Simpkin crumbling it front and centre. Turns and kicks over the head of Stevenson. And the mark is taken by Lester. Brisbane in defence through yeah, the middle of the ground to the Rayner. Difference, and here comes the run of Wilmot straight down the middle of Norwood Oval. Miss McCluggage is tackled by Simpkin. Hand pass back to Wilmot. A burst of pace. Kicks it long into the pocket. Brisbane around the back and McCarthy takes the mark in the right forward pocket. And North Melbourne having conceded five goals in the opening quarter against Carlton. Four goals against GWS back in round one. A chance to... Oh, Brisbane make it seven goals to two in this opening term. There's the difference. Yeah. So, North Melbourne have it at centre half back. They go sideways and uh, and they're indecisive. Brisbane take the intercept mark inside their defensive fifty. Next kicks to the middle of the ground and it's go. It's gone. It's just, it's just go. It's handball. You know, it's a bit a little bit chaotic, but. You know, uh, McCarthy takes a, an uncontested mark inside Ford 50. 45 degree angle on a slight angle, but is able to come in and steer it through for his first of the afternoon and becomes the sixth individual goal kicker for the Brisbane Lions who open up a 32-point advantage, 7-2-44 to North Melbourne, two straight 12. All of a sudden, the Brisbane Lions have kicked four goals. Well, they kicked four goals in the last 10 minutes. I'm just, just watching Clinchy, every Brisbane good play has been met with a number of players getting across it's almost like we'll prove that we are a very close side we'll prove that um, all the rubbish that you read is rubbish and backing up what Rama just said we, when we take the football in there we, we're going to do it with purpose and I don't know what the tackle count is but reality is that they've been ferocious in their tackling they haven't given North any breathing space and North want to hand pass their way out of trouble which is not on this ground. You don't do it. Interesting pick up there, Mick. Like Brisbane are making a show of it. Out of the middle goes Neil. These are scary hours here for North Melbourne. Down by 32 already. Neil chisels the ball into the pocket. And Danaher leads up. Takes a tumbling mark. 47 out. Five in from the boundary line. Right half forward. They're just dominating now. Just, it, it's, it's sad to see... Because there's no leader, there appears to be no leadership coming from North at all. You need someone to settle this down, close, the, just close that little bit of area, so it don't doesn't give Brisbane the chance to have the easy um, outs. He's almost more likely to kick these than he is. 15 out directly in front, veers out to the left. The drop punt is across the face. It'll flow through for a minor score. Brisbane out by 33 points. Joe glances over towards the boundary. Might have got. Some advice from some of the spectators in close confines here at the parade. Scott brings North Melbourne back into play. Kicks up towards Stevenson at half back. Can't take the mark. Davies Uniac. His hand pass is pinched by Wilmot. Is it time for one more? As Lohman marks right on the siren of quarter time. He's out to the left and will have to kick from just outside 50. But a chance for an eighth goal in this opening quarter for the Brisbane Lions. And Kai Lohman already has one already. This will test the wind, I reckon, Clinchy. Because that, if I'm right, it should be almost to do his face from there. Lohman starting up against the boundary. From left half forward, it's offline and it misses absolutely everything in the near side. Maybe going for just an extra metre or two of distance. So out of bounds on the full, no change to the score. Brisbane by 33 points at quarter time. 7-3-45 to North Melbourne, two straight 12. The goal kickers for the Brisbane Lions, two to Joe Danaher. Individuals to Lohman, McCarthy, Zorko, Cameron and Hipwood. 
while for North Melbourne. Air goals have come through Larky and Sherry. It is very close. It is very intimate here at the parade. It is an absolute picture. There are fans standing at the Roger Woodcock end. They are standing in front of a can bar. There's the old school scoreboard with the tiles, with the numbers on it. Uh, there are people on the back of their terrace housing watching over their fences. And there is the beautiful Sir Redwin T. Smith Pavilion down at the parade end of the ground. This is very much suburban local footy here on Gather Round. It is Gather Round footy on ABC Sport at quarter time, Brisbane 7 3 45. And the Kangaroos, two straight 12. The thoughts of Mick Malthouse and Adam Ramanaskis are coming up. This is Gather Round on ABC Sport. So, Jane has a complicated love life. Hey, what's wrong with back hair? Daddy, hibernation is over. In a new ABC wrong com. That is a lot of white meat. No, 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 no. They all just happen to be... Of the Caucasian persuasion. Oh, what kind of Korean are you? Korean. Can she fix the mess? There is something seriously wrong with you. Brand new comedy, White Fever. All right, keep it in your pants. Starts Wednesday, April 10 on ABC TV and ABC iView. You're listening to the AFL Gather Round. AFL. On radio. ABC Sport Digital. And take us with you on the ABC Listener. Brisbane and North Melbourne both looking for their maiden win as McInerney wins down the top for the Brisbane Lions. Having a gather on the bounce is Cameron. Zigs and zags. Gets back on the right. Snaps on goal. And kills it too. Goes long towards Danaher. Works his way to the front and takes the mark. And a chance for Brisbane to kick the opening. Two goals of the match. He steps out. Snaps on his left. Into the crowd it goes at the Sir Edward T. Smith Pavilion. Sherry's pushed forward as well, but it's Greenwood and Larky. And Larky out of the lead, takes the mark. Arms outstretched as he takes it in front of Payne. Nick Larky looking to get the Kangas going. He comes in, pokes at it and steers it straight through the middle. Big fly at halfback. It's Danaher who rises his way to the front and takes the mark. And he is within range. Socks up. Joe Danaher veers out to the left. Has one already. Shooting for his second. Into the crowd it goes. Danaher with his second. Kangas deep in attack. Shuri wins down the tap. And then the tackle on Neil. Did he have prior opportunity? He did. Holding the ball. Wow. Great effort from the Ruckman to follow up his initial work and a layer tackle to result in a shot on goal. 14 goals so far for his career. He's out to the left. This would be a good effort. Starts at right. Bends it back left and through it goes. Looking for a marker. Lohman. Lohman goes up high and brings it down. 30 out. Right foot set shot. Does not deviate. Holds out his hands and says, how do you like that? It's thrown back into play. Shuri tries to take another ruck. Tackle by McInerney. Did have prior opportunity. The umpire said he did. On a 45 degree angle. 25 metres out. Hipwood comes in and steers it through this time. Lohman who dribbles a kick forward. Coming through again. Suck it on Zorko. With the sucker finish. He dribbles it through for a goal. Slight angle but is able to come in and steer it through for his first of the afternoon and becomes the sixth individual goal kicker. The 2024 AFL Gather Round. On your radio. ABC Sport Digital. And on the ABC Listen app. So it is the Brisbane Lions leading by 33 points at quarter time. Gather Round footy on ABC Sport. Ben Cameron, Matt Clinch, the coaching games record holder. And avid walker Mick Malthouse, who made his way here today on foot. Adam Ramanaskis is along for the ride as well, the Essendon Premiership player. It is getting into dangerous territory for North Melbourne. The last four goals of that opening term going to Brisbane. Oh, it's not getting into it is. It's in dangerous territory already. And look, look the problem is seven goals, three. So ten scoring shots uh, for, for Brisbane. And that's off the back of only 16 inside 50s. So, you know, the ease of how they're scoring when the ball goes inside forward 50 is the, is the real concern, I think, for Alistair Clarkson and, uh, and North Melbourne. So whether, you know, whether it's time to put somebody behind the ball just to start this quarter, just to, just to stem the flow a little bit, give, give it a bit of a different look, you know, drop a winger back. Maybe bring Hugh Greenwood up to a wing and he drops back behind the ball, so a bit of height. You know, just, just a bit of a different look, I think, for North Melbourne, Mick. Oh, I totally agree. When, when, you, when you're trailing by such an amount... In fact, I, I thought that may have taken place during the course of that. When, when they had a, I think Lidgey said it was a four or five goal run. You, you can't allow four or five goal run. In, in, I've always said to my players, two goals in a row is a run yeah. So when, if that second goal comes, then you've got to put defensive mechanisms in and... 
yeah, the best way to defend is to, is to attack and kick a goal. But if it's not happening, then at least pull the game back into a into a trench warfare where you're just not allowing the opposition to pick up easy. And the ease in which they were taking that ball, this is a very narrow ground. They were still finding space on the flanks and they were finding a lot of room through the middle. Like, I, I wouldn't care if North Melbourne said, you know, we're going to put a barrier up. Everyone's going to play through the corridor here because... That's where the ball. That's where Brisbane have done most of their damage is through yeah. that corridor. So Brisbane leading by 33 points. Second quarter underway. A shocking bounce in the middle. Favors oh. McInerney oh, punches it down. Umpire should have recorded. it. He didn't. Out of the middle goes Fletcher for Brisbane. Kick partially smothered. Ricochets away. Onto it, Archie. Gives it off to McCluggage. McCluggage dribbles a kick inside 50. Bouncing ball for Danaher. Can't gather it. McKercher can. Handball errant. Cold turnover. Straight to McCarthy. Goes back to McCluggage. Kick smothered. McKercher making amends. Then he fights after it right after Hipwood. And they continue to go at it. On the wing, the ball spits out eventually. Dawson goes in. McCluggage emerges with it. Brisbane in possession. Lester with the hand pass away to Dunkley. High ball inside 50. Lomans underneath it. Got past him. And Dawson gathers for North Melbourne. Gets the hand pass away. The oh. kick into the middle of the ground by Stevens. Risky kick. It's Zorko. He picks it off. Quick one, two. Got it back, Zorko. Can't break clear. Sherry, another great, great tackle. Great tackle. Wins it back for North Melbourne. They take the advantage. McKercher looks up towards half forward. Larky, the kick was too low for him. He couldn't gather. Bounces off his shins. Gathered by Archie. Hand pass away to Payne. Kicks out wide towards half forward. It's wide of Lohman. He gathers it right half forward. Hand pass inboard to Lockie Neal. The brown low medalist dodges. Weaves. Runs to 50. Gets inside. Centering ball. Setting it up for McCarthy. It's over his head. And North are under pressure once more. As the hand pass comes away to Dawson. A clearing kick up towards Dersmer at half back. Reaches up. Can't take the mark. Close to the boundary line. And eventually shoved across by Darcy Gardner in a throw in. Right half forward. For the Brisbane Lions, it's the Lions who lead by 33. Just right checking, in. checking whether they have got an extra play behind the ball. I can't see it at this stage. Nah. Right in front of the canteen out there. I'm sure a few dim sims and hot chips getting sold. McInerney slapping it down. Neil bursts away with the footy, running the wrong way momentarily. Handball away to Archie, has to pick it up off the deck. Gives it off to Leicester. Leicester, a high kick to full forward. Danaher goes up. Hands to it. Doesn't bring down the mark. Davies Uniac arrives. North under the pump. She's able to give it back to Fisher. And the slippery fish will kick out to halfback. Well, he's kicked it out to Stevenson. One of the charms of calling here at North is we get fans yep. right in front of our open air commentary <laughs> position. And it's spoiled out of play for he and Hugh McCluggage. Hello. It's not bad when it's uh, one, is it, Clinchy? But when it's sort of five or six people in a chain walking by, it gets a little difficult. You know, this gentleman, Mick, I hope, as he's popping in to say hello. That's all right. We'll continue on with that job. <laughs> Thrown back in. McInerney and Sherry wrestling. It's the beauty of Norwood. You never quite know what you're going to get as McInerney kicks inside 50. A bouncing ball for McCarthy, and it goes off hands between he and Dawson and over the boundary line. Who is that, Mick? That's Glenn Freeborn. Oh, Glenn, Glenn, is that Freeborn? Glenn Freeborn. That is too. Yeah. So, you know, look, a number of players I've run into, people have run into yeah. uh, through the streets here, and then one walking past. So this is what happens when you're in a little commentary yeah. box like this, Benny. You can stop. Open air, and he just stopped to say good day, Glenn. He had a brilliant second quarter in that 96 grand final for for North Melbourne. Oh, he worked well with me at yeah, Collingwood too. As well. yeah. Yeah. Lions leading by 33 points. Must admit, there was a little bit of me that was hoping that you weren't sure who it was, Mick. <laughs> I don't know all there my a, players. There was a little me that hoping he didn't know who it was. Otherwise, someone had just wandered right into our box. Clear and kick for North up towards the wing. Out the back it goes. Stasevich mopping up the footy. Sweeping handball. It'll get to Neil at half forward. Lowers the eyes inside 50. Bouncing ball. Picking it up quickly. There is Gardner. Wants to turn and look inside 50. Gives it off to Dunkley. Pulls the trigger on goal. And North are there on the last line. Now yeah. Sheasel trying to bounce off. They're yeah. holding up okay here, North Melbourne. It's six in, inside 50 to zero to start this quarter. It's got to be seven. It's coming back in now. Fisher to Scott. Scott turned it over. Lester takes the intercepting mark into the middle of the ground to Zorko, who centers it more to Lockie Neal. Looks into the pocket, sends it in the direction of McCarthy. Almost a collision. Scott coming one direction. Stevens the other. Archie keeps it alive hard against the boundary. Centering ball towards the teeth of goal. Getting back Aiden Core. Rushes it through for a minor score. Brisbane leading by 34 points. 
You've got to put some work into Lockie Neal, yeah, surely. He's had, he's had it on a string, Nick. Well, so. they've got to do some work on him. Yeah, I reckon he's, he's up to 18 possessions. Oh, well, I, well, well, is it just us sitting here that... <laughs> what can the coaches see? Well, why don't you just yell it out to the oh, bench, I reckon they're hearing us. in front of us. Got to hear us. Surely. Goodness. Sheasel kicking a low ball up to the wing. Stasevich punches it away from Zerha. Josh Dunkley's up to 11. McCluggage, 8. Yeah, but North. One, but, he's, but he's hurt them. Yeah, Davy Juniak's had 9. Sheasel's had 9. Then Tucker's had 6. The possession count is very lopsided. 130 to, uh, to 78 in Brisbane's favour. Happy homecoming for Lockie Neal to South Australia. Dunkley with the clearance. Mungrel Ooh. inside attacking 50. Core drops it. Lohman onto it. Dribbles through his second. And the Brisbane Lions are running up a score on North. Their eighth goal of the contest. 8 4 52. Plays two straight 12. It's already 40 points. Five minutes into the second. Gather around footy on ABC Sport. Mick Malthouse, Adam Ramanaskis. Well, I don't know if it's gone in, inside the front 50 yet. I'll just see if I can no, get those second. It, it I don't think it's even looked like it's, it's going to go. In fact, no. is there no. officials out there just cut the ground in half? Have they? they just eight, said you can't zero, go. Mick. Yeah. yeah, you can't go. It's a ball half-court game, you think, Well, I, it just can't. It's not allowed to go there, clearly. And, and this is what we talk about midfield, that when you are getting dominated, then you've got to reduce the the... The, the damage. The only way to reduce damage is you've got to put some w- real tough, hard work in on the organiser, if you like. And, and Neil is the organiser, and I think it's uh, Wardlaw's now gone to him. Let's hope he stays on him, runs with him. The Lions are the last five goals of the match and have really taken control here. Davies Uniac trying to stamp his authority on the match. Got it to Wardlaw. Hand pass away to Sheasel at centre half back. Kicks out towards Dersma. He takes the mark, centre wing on the outer side. He looks up towards half forward. McKerch is the target. He can't take the mark. Sorko, great desperate effort to race back and take the mark. Turns it comes inboard to Wilmot. Brisbane just able to move it with such ease across half back. And gestures to someone to lead towards him. No one comes, so he darts off to the right hand side. Kicks the ball in the direction of Cam Rayner, who gets a few metres on Fisher. Can't quite take the mark. Rayner gathers, fends off Fisher, tries to step around him. And Fisher shoves ball. him that over is, the boundary line and a throw in. That is holding the ball every day of the week. He's trying to take him on and then wandered backwards over the boundary line. That is not a safe haven. It should be holding the ball. Cam Rayner saw the size mismatch and was <laughs> smiling at thinking, Zach Fisher, good luck trying to bring me down. Sherry and McInerney both with hands on it down in front. Overrunning at McCluggage, getting involved Dunkley on all fours. Able to shovel out a handball to Archie. Clever little tap. Back to McCluggage, running back towards the wing. He'll snap across his body. Inside 50 here for Brisbane. Lohman again, roves the pack, snaps on goal. Would have been his third. The best product to come out of Wendery no, in quite some not, time. Well, the other boy that came out of that one was Plugger Lockett. Oh. Well, North Bell out. So. <laughs> Definitely the second then, Mick. <laughs> 41 Perry. points, Brisbane's advantage. 8 5 53 plays two straight 12, seven minutes into the second. I'll clarify that. You come from North Ballarat, Plugger, but Wendery's close enough. Zach Fisher, the former Blue, brings North Melbourne back in for the target. Zerhar's there as well. And Cam Zerhar takes a good mark at right half back. Hardly sighted, Zerhar. Yeah, has not had a lot of the footy. That being said, it hasn't been in North Melbourne's forward 50 that much. He kicks it wide for Stevens. He takes the mark just in front of Leicester. Uh, 15 metres? Oh, that's uh, where it's got to have gone eight, ten. If, if that. Oh. The former Swan, Dylan Stevens veers out to the left, looks to send North Melbourne towards half forward. Larky and Sherry are there. Larky reaches up, can't take the mark. Berry for Brisbane. Hand pass inboard, little fumble by Dunkley. Recathers. Hand pass to Zorko, to Answorth at left half back. Spots Rainer free. He takes the mark, centre wing. Hand pass away to Lockie Neal. Another disposal. Hand pass to Loman. Gets the half forward. Almost run down by Stevens. Dribbles a kick inside 50. Dawson receives the hand pass from Comden in the right back pocket. Kicks up towards Wardlaw. Just over his head. And Answorth spoils it out of play for a boundary throw in. So it was seven goals to two at quarter time Brisbane's way. The Lions were just one goal since then through the opening nine minutes of the second quarter on ABC Sport. Brisbane by 41. Shadows lengthening here at the parade. Beautiful ground that Norwood have played at, at the, as their home ground since 1901. From the throw in, tackled quickly. Here's Rayner, another ball up. First hosted night games in 1950. Yeah, night games, really. 
Umpire puts it up. Sherry laying it down. Onto it. Simpkin. Tackle to ground quickly and another ball up to come. Full, no, full, hold full, the ball. full moon, mate? Or Holding what? the ball. Is it a full moon? Because do they have light towers in those days? Yep. First uh, Australian stadium yep. to have lights installed. Mm. 1951. So Simpkin pinged for holding the ball. And big Oscar McInerney will have the free kick. The mark set 49 and a half metres out. The lines by 41 points. Just cars around the ground, Mick, with the headlights on. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be too many cars around South Australia then either. So the big O needs a big set shot. Puts his big right hoof through it. Sets it up into the breeze. And it falls well short. Punched through by Sheasel. From a couple of metres out. And we might actually get a throw in. Off the behind post. It went out. Brisbane by 41 points. 10 minutes into the second. This is gather round here on ABC Sport. Toss back into play. Sherry takes front position against Hipwood. Knocked down to the front. McKercher with a clearing kick. Berry got rid of his opponent. Just a little shove on Stevenson. Nudge him underneath. And takes the mark out to the left. He'll kick from just outside 50. I wonder about that nudge. I reckon it was a... Bit more of a push. Well, it's a shove. Ten yeah, Isn't well, it supposed but, to be ten metres? But at the same time, Mick, yeah, you've got to hold your ground. Hold your I know you've got to hold your uh, ground. I know, I know he's weak. Know, don't <laughs> just, you just don't just don't collapse. No, I know, but still ten metres. So Jared Berry looking to become the sixth individual goal kicker for the Brisbane Lions. We're right behind this kick to the Roger Woodcock end. He veers out to the right, curls it back left and overcooks it. Misses to the left-hand side. A minor score. 42 points is the Brisbane Lions lead at the 11-minute mark of the second term on ABC Sport. Now, I hate to give North Melbourne's bad news, but they have not had it in their front 50 no. at all this quarter. 11-0. It I, is. It's just sad. Living at the Roger Woodcock end. We'll tell you a little more about Roger Woodcock as we move through to... I'll tell you one thing. I don't know Roger Woodcock, but I know you cannot have that ball in the back pocket, kick the ball to the back <laughs> pocket and expect to get it into the front 50. McDonald kicks up to the wing. Danaher with hands on it. Drops the mark. Hansworth roves the pack. Gives it back to Berry. Thumping kick inside 50. Looking for Hipwood. Hipwood plucks it out of the sky. And he's got a 25 out on a 45 degree angle in the left forward pocket. Yeah, well, it's inevitable with the number of times it's going in. That's a two-on-one contest, and Hipwood's, be Hipwood's the one. So, yeah. terrific effort by Hipwood to, to mark the ball. But that, that ball should have been killed over the line by the North defenders. So, the big easy. Written about during the week as an enigma. What can he deliver here with the drop punt? It is a flower bag that floats through the middle. The big easy... And it's all a little too easy for Brisbane at the moment. He's got a couple. 9-6-60. Plays two straight 12. 48 points at the 13-minute mark of the second term. Mick Malthouse, Adam Ramanaskis, what are the solutions for North? Well, it's very difficult when you're eight goals down already. But the tidy up the middle, get your, just get your best players in at the ball. Yeah. And... Get, get all your forwards to play in front and just get the ball inside front 50 and hope that at, at some stage it's going to fall in your hands or at least at least you can work to it. But even the, even when it gets anywhere near that back part, uh, Brisbane are playing in front. They're able to run the ball out. They don't overuse the football. I don't know what it is this quarter. It's 47 to 29. So you wouldn't say they're overusing it. Let me tell my mic on. Back in the middle of the ground, Bailey... Gets the clearance, kicks up towards half forward. North Melbourne under pressure. McDonald tries to get a hand pass away. Larky's tried to come down into defence or for support. Hand pass to Sheasel, quickly over the top. Links up with McKercher. To Wardlaw streaming forward. Sends it along towards Greenwood. Can't take the mark. Harris Andrews reaches over, makes the spoil. Dersma runs onto it in the right forward pocket. Fires on goal and misses to the right hand side. North first inside 50 of the quarter. Comes at the 13 minute mark of the second quarter. Brisbane leading by 47 points. Yeah, wrong option too. Could have pulled that ball back to a player who was Curtis yeah. 20 metres out in front of the goals. Just got to take that opportunity when it comes. Let him know what he thought about it too, Paul Curtis. Yeah, well, actually, and that's a sin, honestly. You do not do that. You're not happy with no, that, No, I'm not happy with yeah. that. You don't, you don't show... You just go to him in the next top of 
opportunity I'll just tap, tap in the shoulder yeah. and say, listen, I, I was there, just have it open your eyes. Don't don't let the crowd know that what, what is obvious. Umpire brings it in, Larky in the ruck, able to win it down in front. Wrenched off his kick there is Dunkley. Goes again at ground level. Neil extracts it again for Brisbane. He's racking up disposals. Gives it off towards Answorth. He'll kick up to the wing. Gardner marks. The parade bathed in sunshine. Beautiful Friday Arvo footy. Lines by 47 points. Quarter hour mark, second term. Get the last six goals of the match as Bailey takes the mark. Receives it from Gardner. Looks up towards the 50. McCarthy the target. He what? had about five metres on any forward. I'm oh. not sure what he was doing. Oh, you just stole, uh, you and I just stole looked, just our looked at thunder. It. But the fact was that the kick before that, the, the Brisbane, Brisbane player had six or seven metres. This forward, sitting in the forward line, has a man behind him by eight or nine metres. What is wrong with being shoulder to shoulder and just then analysing the play? It's all too late when that ball comes in short. You're in trouble. You're gone. This is... That's just bad play. Not not because you're not a good player, just bad play. Lincoln McCarthy looking to become the third multiple goal scorer for the Brisbane Lions. He comes in from just inside 50 and through goes another one. It's seven consecutive goals for the Brisbane Lions. I'm starting to get a bit fearful, Rama. 75 points was the margin in gather round back in round five at Mount Barker. We're up to 53 before halftime. Yeah. 10-6-66 to North Melbourne. 2 one A second goal for Lincoln McCarthy. You, you ask, oh. what can North Melbourne do? And it's it's those, it's the, those little fundamentals there. You know, that, that's a fundamental. Like, the fundamental of picking up the ball and handball, and that's one part of it. But then the fundamental of playing on your man and being shoulder to shoulder and having your arm across yeah. your direct opponent. That's not aptitude. That's attitude. Correct. That's that's right. it's, but it's, it's also taught at... at uh, under, under 10 yeah. under yeah. 10 you're yeah. told arm across the face yeah. of him they've got the football guess what he's not going to try to kick it to you he's going to try to kick to your opponent be next to him if it's a bad kick then you capitalise I think that's less than three of Oz kick Mick just after sort of keep your feet well I think I think there's a couple of Oz kick sides that we've beaten us today oh you know, restart in the middle Davy <laughs> Juniak going out after it stick with us though we'll keep you entertained McKercher fighting on in there for North 53 points the Lions lead Nick Malthouse, Adam Ramanaskis, our experts on ABC Sport. Slapped down by the big O again. And McCarthy, one of those uh, four multiple goal kickers for Brisbane. One of three South Australians out there as well for Brisbane. Simpkin the clearance. Stevenson thought he took the mark, then dropped it at the last minute. North at half forward, off to Tucker. Floating ball into the pocket. No mark taken. Greenwood robes his own drop mark and snaps the goal. Finally. A major for North and some relief. Their third of this contest. 10-6, 66 of Brisbane. North Melbourne, 3-1, 19, 47 points. Mick Malthouse, Adam Ramanaskis. Well, I, I reckon it was more... Look, I, I'm not going to take it away from Greenwood, but it was more a fluke than a, than a, than a great setup <laughs> because he just slammed it on his boot and it went through. And thankfully it went through because, look, no one wants to see this take place. You don't want to be going into a half-time and you're trailing by 10 goals. So... At least inside front 50 contest. What what it does do, if, if there's anything that North Melbourne need to learn about this, there, there's no way on a ground like this when when Brisbane are in this mood to try to carve your way through. It's just get the ball inside your front 50, lock it in, keep your belt your side outside the front 50 in case the ball comes out, and have contesters in your forward line. The voice of the man who's coached more VFL, AFL games than anyone else. Mick Moldhouse. Sherry wins down the tap. A chance for the Brisbane Lions. So Dunkley with a hand pass to McCluggage. Kicks up to Zach Bailey. Still inside the centre square. Veers out to the right. Sends it long towards Hipwood. Oh, McCarthy. McCarthy can't reel it in. Up against the boundary line with Dawson right there. A boundary throw in in the left forward pocket for Brisbane. That last goal for Hugh Greenwood breaks a run of seven successive goals for the Brisbane Lions from the 22 minute mark of the first quarter. It's thrown back into play. Joe Danaher doing the ruck work against Sherry. Sherry just works him out of it. Gets the hand pass away to Powell. Hand pass away to Davies Uniac. Under pressure, squeeze the kick up towards the wing. Curtis decided not to fly. Dursma dropped them up, but regathers it. Hand pass to Simpkin and Wade to McKercher. Through the middle of the ground. Good speed as he takes a couple of bounces. Now a third. Through the middle of the Norwood Oval. Kicks out looking for Larky and nudged underneath it by Payne. Is that a push in the back? Umpire says no. And Jack Payne marks in the right back pocket. Kicks up to Wilmot. Marks on his chest. 
Right half back here for Brisbane. The Wilmot. He'll kick around the eastern wing. Ford of it. Core in best position. McCarthy brings it down. Brisbane are onto it. Eric Hipwood slips over. He's able to slap it out. Rayner picks it up. Gives it off to Archie. Floats it inside. 50. Danaher on the burst. He marks on his chest. 30 out. Plum in front. And Mick Malthouse, what's it like when you're coaching and your team's going like North are at the moment? What does it feel like? Well, I'll tell you one thing you have to do, and you've got to ignore the fact that how disappointing you are. You've got to keep your head up and try to minimise any potential further damage. So it's no use feeling sorry for yourself, hollowing out, trying to find a cage to, or in a cave to get into. And I'm sure, I'm sure Clarkson doesn't do that. You've just got to find a way. Here comes Danaher. The set shot is a shank. All right into the cam bar in front of the Roger Woodcock end. Down there at uh, what is the northern end of the ground here at the parade. 48 points, Brisbane's ascendancy closing in on half time. This is Gather Round Footy on ABC Sport. Bailey Scott brings it back in. Durst for the target. Can't take the mark. Wardlaw's in front. Neil with a hand pass forward for Brisbane. To Lohman. Long towards Hipwood. Can't take the mark. He wrestles with Core close to the left behind post. And it goes through for a minor score. 49 points as the Brisbane Lion lead at the 21 minute mark of the second quarter. This kick, you've got to find a way to get the ball to the wing from here. Whether you play on or kick it long, whatever. But... Get, get, don't leave the ball in the in the forward half. Oh, massive fly from Dersma trying to take a hang on the way up. A free kick in amongst it all. It'll go to Dersma. The youngest Dersma coming through, Willem. Touted as a potential top pick in this year's AFL draft. He shanks his kick off the instep. Floats onto the chest of Wally Wardlaw. At least he's playing in front. So, <laughs> yes, a poor kick, but he's in front. Uh, what, what the little, little... Little gains, you've got to applaud. Looks like the fifth beetle with his haircut as well, Mick, as he kicks forward of the wing. You no mark taken. The Down in front. Clear and kick coming from a cluggage, not the required distance. Sherry now wrapped up. It's holding the ball. And held in, says the umpire, despite Rammer thinking it should have been holding the ball. Lines by 49 points. Yeah. I love a lot of the Beatles songs. Hey Jude, Blackbird, Eleanor Rigby, Mick, some of my favourites. No, you said you hated them. Come on. Why can't you see it before the game's out, the way this is going? McInerney tries to take it out of the ruck against Sherry. It spills down the way as Simpkin can't get his foes away. Berry to McCluggage. Sorko's kick smothered. Simpkin trying to lift his side. It spills back to McCluggage. Hand pass to Berry back to McCluggage. At left half back around the western wing here. Oh. And uh, Luke McDonald oh. seemed to have his arms chopped. No free kick. Bailey for Brisbane. Hand pass forward to Lohman. They love a hand pass forward. Hipwood on the run inside 50. Sends it looking for Big Joe Danaher who tried to leave it for Cameron. Danaher can't take the mark. Cameron on the loose ball. Trying to extract it as Cobden. He's tackled and uh, could have almost been taken high as well. So a few free kicks missed there and a ball up in the right forward pocket for Brisbane. Well, right in front of us, Clinchy with yep. uh, McDonald. I mean, his arms are now still ringing and being hit. Danaher trying to take it out of the ruck. Can't do so cleanly. Dawson able to get it away to Tucker, who gives it off to Sheasel. Clearing kick beyond the defensive arc for North. Free kick two. It'll go the way of Zerha, who's been quiet today. Free kick at half back. Question for you, Rammer and Mick. Tommy Benella says, is it more uh, good Brisbane or bad North? Combination of both, really. A long kick up to the wing, and there's Big O gliding through the pack. Takes the mark for Brisbane. Ford Hamble to McCluggage. Kick inside 50. McDonald drops the mark. Goes and gets it at ground level, wrapped up. Hamble away to Sheasel. North should escape. Here's Scott. Clear and kick out to halfback. And he turns it over, although Wilmont couldn't hang on to the mark inside the field of play, and he'll go across the boundary line for a throw-in. I can't think of too many occasions where a ruckman takes a mark and fires a, a 10-metre hand yeah. pass forward. That can only be the opposition. Oh, he, no you doubt. can't do that normally no. in other games. Sure, it's a, a unique ground, and there's a few differences to it, but uh, Brisbane are very much doing as they please at the moment. Lockie Neal tries to gather the loose footy. He can't do so, and it's stuck underneath. Dane Zorko and Cam Zuha. The, the numbers are even across the ground, so this is an opportunity for North if they can just wrestle a little bit of the ascendancy around the stoppages. But it's here, Mitt. So you look forward there. They're, all their forwards are just together. too high up the yeah, ground. Yeah, and, and, and smack together. It leaves some space in front of the contest so you can work through there. Knocking only one down the tap. Powell and Tucker ran into each other. Can't get a disposal away. Fletcher slides in and the ball is stuck underneath him. I mean, the old scoreboard, Benny, good to see some of the locals here at Norwood are changing the numbers for us. 
McInerney wins the tap down, but the clearance coming from Zerhar up to the wing, a turnover. And Brisbane back with it through Wilmot. What a player he's become. Short to Zorko. Off to Rayner. Chipping on the left. McCarthy linking up. Unable to take the mark. Sheasel slaps it out of his hands. He goes and follows up. Now Brisbane back in the middle. Stasevich wins it again. Gives it off to Leicester. Leicester, a left-footed weighted kick. A good one for Berry. Drops the mark. Time to recover. Wide out left half forward. He'll snap inside 50. Lohman goes up. Can't mark from behind. The north of there. Mark taken by McDonald. A second-generation route. Lions by 49 late in their second term. Well, McDonald got the ball 30 metres out and kicked it back to the goal square. And now kicks it back to 30 metres out. You're not going to beat Brisbane on that play. You have to either play on or work the ball. Well, he's worked it too wide now. Yeah, it's also to Harry Sheasel trying to find an avenue out. His 11th disposal of the quarter, but he sends it out on the full. I don't think we've had as many as you That's thought, Rama. That's only the second. So players have adjusted well. As Answorth takes the free kick, fears out to the right, kicks inside. 50, Danaher from behind takes the mark. Tristan Sherry tried to plant himself in front. A centering ball options are plenty, and Fletcher's going to take the mark. Well, they're toying with him now, the Brisbane Lions. Shearing is caring, and a chance for Jasper Fletcher to kick his first of the afternoon. Well, he's taking the ball 30 metres out from goal, and there was a, a, a 30 metre diameter thing around him that no North Melbourne play was near. That, that's quite disturbing, really, defensively. And here, Eddie Ford below us, keen to get back on the ground. Jasper Fletcher keen to become the seventh individual goal kicker as he comes in and just drags it left to the Roger Woodcock end and a minor score. They've let him so off. So three goals, six yeah. in this second quarter, Brisbane. 20 inside 50s. To North's 1-1. The margin is 50 points. Sheasel with the kick in. The Lions are there in numbers again. Wilmot slaps it on towards Fletcher. Feeds the handball out in front of Neil. Gathers as he tumbles to ground. Wrenching it free. Stealing it from him. Sheasel slaps out a handball towards Scott. Getting involved. Tucker. He'll get it on the boot. Clearing kick. Stasevich goes up for Brisbane. Able to knock it down to ground level as well. Piles on top of it. The umpire arms to his chest. The ball up to come. Lions by a clean 50. 10-9-69 plays 3-1-19. Nick Malthouse, Adam Ramanaskis, Matt Clinch and Ben Cameron, ABC Sport. From the ball up, it spills down the way of Darcy Tucker. He turns it straight over for North Melbourne. Zorko takes the mark at right half forward. Kicks into the pocket. McInerney was leading back to the goal mouth. Sherry gathered. Hand pass to Stevens. Put him under enormous pressure. He's locked up by Dunkley and the free kick. 45 metres out on a 45 degree angle, a chance for the Brisbane Lions to add another one. It's Josh Dunkley wins the free kick. Uh, it was brutal there, Dunkley in the contest. As Stevens took the ball and he was just on him and then just Stevens dropped the ball because of how how quick Dunkley came in, but also how hard that tackle was. One of seven players who featured in every game last season for the Brisbane Lions, Josh Dunkley. He comes in from just inside 50, puts it right across the face of goal. Danaher's there, oh. flies, Gardner stays down. The easiest of a crumbing goal, <laughs> even for a defender. And they break into celebration in the left forward pocket for the Brisbane Lions. And North have got a fair bit of work to do on their defensive key pillars. Caelan Dawson gets some words of encouragement, but another goal for the Brisbane Lions. 56 points is their lead. 11 9 75 to North Melbourne at 3 1 19. But, but again, Mick, it, it's it's a little discipline, a little fundamental. Yeah. The ball gets to the goal line. Your tools have got to spoil it. You've got to spoil it through. The Ruckman's got to be down there on the goal line to spoil to spoil that ball through. So you, you, you sometimes when you when you have a margin like this, you've just got to keep it simple. Keep oh, it really simple. I feel a little uh, edgy sitting in front of Mick because if looks could kill, he looks very aghast oh, with what he's seeing from north at the moment. Well, there's, there's things you can do with the football and there's things when you haven't got the football. Yep. And Ram is right. Mm. You, you've just got to spoil that through with a big fist, jump into the ball. They will win a clearance here through Davies Uniac, tumbling a ball inside 50. Fighting after it, Stasevich and Zerha cutting through McKercher. Pinches it for the ruse. Sweeps a handball forward. The Lions are there. Answorth gets it away to Leicester. Leicester, a left foot kick. Out towards halfback. Archie drops it. Goes again at ground level. Handball away. Lohman gets involved. Still going Archie. Eventually brought down. And a ball up. Leicester, who had the clearing kick. Did you know last year he did a radio interview post-game with us on the ABC? 
and it was the first time in his career that he's done a post-game radio interview. He's played 183 games. Well, he's obviously able to escape the uh, media. <laughs> <laughs> Lockie Neal, another disposal as he gathers on halfback. Hand pass to Wilmot, kicks over the head of Rayner. It clears here McDonald, who left it for Colton. Oh, then hand no. pass to McDonald, sold him into traffic. Down to her lays the tackle, spills to Rayner, dribbles the kick up towards Charlie Cameron. Oh. He loses his footing in the left forward pocket and it trickles out of play in front of uh, Kaylin Dawson and a boundary throw in. Now, turf monster got Charlie there. Yes. Mm. Chance for Brisbane to really tune up here, but it must be said Charlie Cameron hasn't been involved all that much. Early, that's about one. it. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting too. Charlie Cameron's 450 ground ball numbers have been really low this year. Sherry slapping it down, but Brisbane again through Dunkley, sweeping handball from McInerney, all of 30 metres. Thought he was Polly Farmer for a moment, and North Melbourne appropriately saved by the bell. The Brisbane Lions have kicked eight of the last nine goals of this game. They lead by 56 points at the main break. And they are putting their talents on parade here at Norwood. Gather round on ABC Sport. 11-9-75 plays 3-1-19. As I said, it's 56 points. The goal kickers, four lines have two. Lohman, Danaher, McCarthy and Hipwood. While singles go the way of Zorko, Cameron and Gardner for North Melbourne. Their goal kickers, Larky, Sherry and Greenwood. Adam Ramanaskis is an Essendon Premiership player. Mick Malthouse is the coaching games record holder and Wendery's favourite son. Uh, what have you seen? Um, I've just looked at 24 to 4 inside 50s yeah. and just cannot get my head around it. Can't get my head around the fact that 13 plays, um, what's that, 40? Is it 13 to 40? Oh, it's just... Yeah, 13 to 40 for the half. So 40 inside 50s for well, the... Well, that, if that goes again, that's 80. I've never yeah. seen an 80. I've never, in fact, I don't know if I've ever seen a yeah. 70. Look, the possession count's a real worry as well, Mick. I, I mentioned it Can't in that get quarter. It. Can't get the ball. So Brisbane have had 200 possessions to 133. Uh, 27 clearances to 20. Uh, contested possessions at Brisbane are well up. But I think the real difference... And, and what Brisbane are doing, they're just they're simply moving the ball better. Like they're, they're fundamentals at ground level to pick up the ball, give a handball off, get a teammate into space, take the ball forward. Now, I, I actually thought North Melbourne got let off that quarter. Yeah. Now, 24 inside 50s for for four goals. Well, I think it was four goals, six in the end. Like there, there was they've left a lot out there in that in that second quarter, Brisbane. So, look, you know what gets me, Remmer? Like we we look at it, and they, you have the same number of players. They've got 46 legs, 46 arms. Yeah. They've got different levels of brain, brains. You're big on this at the moment here today, aren't you? You're talking more like this is, uh, like I said earlier, it's, it's more um, attitude than, than attitude. No, no, I'm not talking about attitude. I, 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 I think we get confused with attitude and ability and decision-making. I don't know. Yes, there's a lot of opportunities to... to attitude sometimes is, oh, I can see a man five minutes in front of me, I won't get to him. We've seen it a couple of times in the forward line. But they're just getting they're getting brutalised, if you like, in the middle of the ground where every time that, that there's a loose football, Brisbane get an extra number there. Now, that might be work ethic or whatever, and perhaps you're right, maybe, maybe attitude. But it's also got a lot to do with brain power. Mm. Football brain power is... So I'll get education. I'll get, well, no. Sometimes yeah, you... Maybe can, third time lucky. <laughs> Give me another try. Well, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> it is just... You've got... You've got... Um, you've got Lockie Neal. Yeah. And you have, a, 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 and I won't say North Melbourne player, but let's say then you put a North yeah. Melbourne player there, and it's a thing called ability. Yeah. Brisbane simply have far more ability in their player group and experience and height than North Melbourne. Yeah. So, so what's happening is attitude starts to fall off when the scoreboard becomes... You look at it and they, and, and they put their head down. What you want now is players to put their head up and go... We haven't got the ability, but what you want now is from the coach to go, I've got to close this game down. I don't care what it looks like, I've got to close it down. I cannot let North Melbourne have a, uh, two, uh, 201 to 130, so 70 odd possessions or 60 odd possessions more, because you know that if they've got 60 and they're a better side than us, they're going to destroy us. We're going to turn that around and make sure 
we either get the positions, but they don't get the positions. So the interesting part, Mick, about the, the talent side of things, Sheasel first round pick, Davies Uniac first round yeah, pick, Darcy yeah. Tucker first round yeah. pick, Wardlaw first round pick, McKercher first round pick, Simpkin first round pick, uh, Dersma first round pick, uh, Powell first round pick, Dylan Stevens first round pick. That's a lot of first round picks, but it still doesn't give them football brains well, if, they, if they're not but, working it. But, that, but what I'm getting at, the, the talent's there. Yeah. Okay, the talent's there, but what what is it? Is like, it experience? Uh, well, is, is it is it is it? Um, what I've noticed is a team that fumbles at the moment. Oh yeah, and a team that's clean. Yeah, like Lucky Neil put on an absolute clinic in that first half. Yeah, twenty three possessions. Um, what did he have there? Five clearances. Five inside, 56 score involve, involvements. It was a clinic for Lockie Neal in that. But it was, it was a clinic in fundamentals. And that's yeah. what I'm talking about. So I mentioned all those first-round draft picks. Watch Lockie Neal. So Mick mentioned George Wardlaw in the middle with Lockie Neal there. George Wardlaw would have never played on a player or to had to tag a player in his life. But he's always been the most talented junior. Yeah. But if it's your turn to actually go and do it, you've got to have the brain power, what you're talking about, Mick, to go and say, OK, I'm going to go and do that now for the next 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm going to go and learn off a two-time Brownlow medalist. <laughs> but you see the ball, you want to chase the ball. It, not everyone can do that in football. Yeah, the scoreboard then, almost becomes irrelevant. Yet 11 9 75 is the Brisbane Lions' biggest halftime score against North Melbourne since yeah. 2008. So 16 years Brisbane have uh, put on their biggest score against the Kangas at a ground where it is easy to score and it's hard to get out of defence. And just on that, I mean, the best do the basics for longer, don't no they? Doubt. And that is no that doubt. is Lockie Neal's game. Cleaner, does the basics over and over and a dual Brownlow medalist. Uh, just on the most inside 50s in a game, so... Uh, through to uh, half time in this game. They've taken one off Brisbane. They're down to 39. Still a lot. So it is a lot, Mick. Uh, just behind world record pace. What's the world record? The world record is 83 in a game, which was round eight in 2018. Melbourne against the Gold Coast Suns. Oh, and 2018. What year was 2018? Melbourne made the prelim. There? Yeah, and yep. Gold Coast would have been into there. Oh, they would have had a fair few years by that stage. Yeah. Six years. Oh, easy, yeah. easy, yeah. easy, yeah. easy. So, uh, all right, yeah. they had a bad... Yep, OK. So, so uh, we're looking at still looking world record. Um, and the way the, the game's going, if, if North drop off any further mentally, then this is going to be a disaster. I, I have this feeling that they will fight back. They've got the manpower up forward, and their structure up forward is dismal. But also, their key backs, they lack good key backs because of... Well, they've lost uh, McKay. Uh, they've lost a couple of through injury... Uh, it's not going to get any better, so they've got to they've got to structure their back line for the rest of this year from what they've got. And right now, their two key back line players are quite frankly they're not quite good enough. Yeah. And that that's Which no that's no sin. That's no sin. It's just simply that's a talent thing. But there's four others down there, and that ruckman's got to start working because maybe only won't hurt you. Um, back of play. He'll hurt, he'll hurt you going forward, but this is where their Ruckman now perhaps has got to be playing between 30 out to 110 out. Yeah. Don't worry about the front 50. Yeah. Uh, Greg in Albany of WA says, G'day all, rumour had it that Clarkson is a good coach. Does he have a game plan? That's a, a question from Greg as it stands at the moment. That's not a, that's not a question. That's not, come on. Benny, that's not a question. <laughs> the bloke's a four-time premiership don't, coach. Don't shoot the messenger. I know, but it's that's who, who wrote the, the text. Greg. Greg, that's yeah, that's just being it's been silly. Clarks is a four-time premiership coach. He he he, he can see, he's one of the all-time great yeah. coaches. Can you just not say the coach can do any can more you, other than get out there and play right. himself? Can you just say Greg again? That you weren't addressing any of that at me. I've been catching some strange. No, he from actually Megan. looked at you. He had a real close look at you. Then I don't know if you looked at the eyes. It's it's all in the eyes, Benny. You cop that. What are you going to do about it? I'll make you walk home and walk to uh, Mount Barker tomorrow, Mick, at this rate. Uh, Brisbane lead by 56 points, 11.975. North Melbourne, 3-1-19. It is Gather Round on ABC Sport, the first game of a Friday night two-step. And no jam for you tomorrow. Yeah, no jam. Mick, uh, <laughs> I need to stock up to go home and get in the good graces. Uh, but then coming up later tonight, we've got uh, the nightcap between Port Adelaide and Essendon. Right now, we can pause here on ABC Sport and get the latest from the ABC Newsroom. ABC 
News with Satyam Weinstein. Severe weather warnings are in place for parts of New South Wales and Queensland as a major rain event sweeps across eastern Australia. Chelsea Hetherington has more. Residents to the north, south and west of Sydney are on high alert, with rainfall expected to cause dangerous and life-threatening flash flooding tonight and tomorrow. Stephen Bernasconi from the Weather Bureau says intense rain and wind is expected up and down the state's coast. 24-hour totals of 200 to 300 millimetres are also possible in some locations. Dozens of flights have been cancelled at Sydney Airport and the SES has responded to hundreds of incidents. Further north in Queensland, areas in the southwest are at risk of major flooding after heavy rain, while showers and thunderstorms are expected for much of today and tomorrow, just to the south of Brisbane and around the Gold Coast. The Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade has confirmed that two Australians have been reported missing after a massive earthquake struck Taiwan. Local authorities located near the earthquake epicentre in Hualien have described the pair as Singaporean with Australian passports. DFAT says the Australian office in Taipei is making urgent inquiries with local authorities to confirm their welfare. Israel says it will open or expand three crossings into the Gaza Strip to increase the provision of humanitarian aid. And it's understood to be a response to a specific request from U.S. President Joe Biden. Here's the BBC's Yolanda Nell. With the UN warning of imminent famine in northern Gaza, humanitarian organizations had repeatedly requested full access to Israel's Ashdod port, some 30 kilometers away, to no avail. Now, in a major change of policy, Israel's security cabinet has decided to temporarily open it up for aid deliveries. The nearest entry point to Gaza, the large Erez crossing, will also be opened for the first time since the deadly Hamas attacks on the 7th of October. And the amount of aid from Jordan moving through the Karem Shalom crossing in southern Gaza will increase. A WA youth custodial officer has told a coronial inquest staff would typically not wear radios at night in Casuarina Adult Prison's juvenile unit, despite it being a requirement. The inquest is examining the case of 16-year-old Cleveland Dodd, who died in a Perth hospital a week after self-harming in his cell in Unit 18 last October. Challenging juvenile detainees have been transferred to Unit 18 at the maximum security prison since 2022. Officer Daniel Torrios, who was the first staff Staff member to find Cleveland Dodd unresponsive says primarily staff communicated with each other in person. Officers are required to have radios on their person under Department of Justice policies. And remember, if you or someone you know needs help, you can call Lifeline on 13 11 14. That's 13 1114. A defamation case brought by Bruce Learman against Network 10 and Lisa Wilkinson is wrapped up after last-minute evidence was introduced to the federal court this week. Jade Toomey reports. Mr Lamon launched the case last year after his criminal trial for the alleged rape of Brittany Higgins was abandoned with no findings against him. A judgment was meant to be delivered this week but was delayed when Network 10 called former Seven Network producer Taylor Auerbach to give evidence. He told the court about sordid nights out with Mr Lamon to secure an interview. Interview. Ten is trying to make arguments that Mr Lehman lied to the court and breached rules by giving seven court documents that shouldn't be public. Mr Lehman denies this and his lawyers say Mr Auerbach's evidence has added nothing to the case. Justice Michael Lee said he will deliver his judgment as soon as possible. The sister of a man fatally bashed before his body was dumped in a bin in the Adelaide suburb of Hectorville has told the Supreme Court how the killer took advantage of her brother's kind nature and she'll never forgive him. James Wakelin with the details. The body of the victim, whose name is suppressed, was found at the Wingfield dump in December 2021, four days after he was last seen. The victim's sister told the court that the killer, Daniel Gordon Bremner, had been homeless before her brother took him in. She said most people would have been able to see the evil of the perpetrator. My brother just saw someone who needed help. She said the shock of the 53-year-old disability pensioner's murder had led to the premature death of their parents. She said her brother's two children had also been left without a father and she asked the court to impose the maximum sentence. Bremner, who was found guilty of murder in February, returns to court for sentencing on April 18. And health authorities are expecting a surge in cases of whooping cough in South Australia in line with the nationwide trend. The Immunisation Foundation of Australia says waves of whooping cough typically happen every three to five years, but it's been eight years since the last epidemic. ABC News. Nightlife with Phil Clark. We're about to play the Mighty Challenge. 
We're up to question 12, but more importantly, 10 in a row for the Black Magnets. Which future US president married school librarian Laura Welsh in 1977? George W. Bush. 10 in a row. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. I'm going to die happy. Nightlife, Monday to Thursday with Philip Clark on ABC Radio. You're listening to the AFL Gather Round. AFL. On radio. ABC Sport Digital. And take us with you on the ABC Listen. Dunkley with the clearance. Mungrel inside attacking 50. Core drops it. Loman onto it. Dribbles through his second. Rainer gathers. Fends off Fisher. Tries to step around him. That is holding the ball every day of the week. He's trying to take him on and then wandered backwards over the barrel. That is not a safe haven. That should be holding the ball. Who was that, Mick? That's Glenn Freeball. So this is what happens when you're in a little commentary yeah. box like this, Benny. You can stop. Open air, and he just stopped to say good day, Glenn. Had a brilliant second quarter in that 96 grand final. Hipwood plucks it out of the sky. Terrific effort by Hipwood to, to mark the ball, but that, that ball should have been killed over the line by the North defenders. What can he deliver here with the drop punt? It is a flower bag that floats through the middle. McCarthy looking to become the third multiple goal scorer for the Brisbane Lions. He comes in from just inside 50, and through goes another one. North at half forward off the tucker. Floating ball into the pocket. No mark taken. Greenwood robes his own drop mark and snaps the goal. Finally, a major for North in some relief. He comes in from just inside 50. Puts it right across the face of goal. Danaher's there. Flies. Gardner stays down. The easiest of a crumbing goal. Even for a defender. The 2024 AFL Gather Round. On your radio. ABC Sport Digital. And on the ABC Listen app. We are rocking the suburbs. Gather Round on ABC Sport. It is the second of the three venues for Gather Round here in South Australia. We are at the Parade in Norwood, a storied football venue, the home ground of Norwood in the SANFL since 1901. First venue in Australia to host night games. That was in 1950, and it hosted the grand final of the National Football League between Norwood and East Perth in 1977 which was won by Norwood. So uh, that is where we are. It is a beautiful setting. The lights are on, but a glorious sunny afternoon in uh, South Australia and in the capital here of Adelaide. Uh, There are people on their balcony on the eastern side of the ground. There are uh, packed grandstands, the Sir Edwin T. Smith Pavilion, a beautiful old pavilion. Uh, And then we also have a can bar down at the uh, Roger Woodcock end of the ground. And I'm pleased to say that I am uh, just working myself here at the moment because our team <laughs> uh, are gnawing down on uh, chicken burgers and hot chips uh, very much community footy clinchy but it is the Lions 11 75 leading north 3 1 19 56 points at the main break well Mick wandered down with a cardboard box he, he found did. the right way to get some food for us and sort of sat with some drinks as well so um, yeah, we're, we're enjoying the vibe as much as everyone else is where did you find that food Mick was that actually meant for us or did you just pinch it I stole it <laughs> no, I was walking past and one of the people from one of the other stations said, uh, Mick, this is yours. I've got, I can see other people eating our, our uh, burger and chips. So I thought, <laughs> I'll find out next door. I don't know who's next door, but they've copped a little bit off us. And then the other box stands further. So share and share alike, mate. So yep. You've done well, Mick. You've done very well. Uh, just a, a quick thought on what we are seeing here and, and what it... Um, what memories it conjures up for you. You obviously grew up playing country footy in uh, Ballarat, which we've spoken about throughout the course of today. What do you think when you see community footy like this? I knew you'd ask when I've got my mouth full of, of chicken, <laughs> um, burger and chips. Now, you did that purposely, didn't you? Yeah. Um, what do I think about it? I'm looking out. Now, I know you've described it fairly well, Benny, but I'm looking out at the Adelaide Hills and a community ground that's got look we're not used to standing room only these days used to be at the mcg and and, and most other grounds around the traps Eston and out at windy hill of course uh, Rammer. um so we're just looking at community football and people are loving it this game is over but people won't leave they will not leave because they just want to be part of the part of the uh, you know the, the game itself a part of this gather round the other thing you've said is how sunny it is ben I wore shorts and a T-shirt. Uh-oh. It is freezing. 
It's literally freezing. So if you describe that to the, to the public. I thought you grew up in Ballarat. It's freezing for you. <laughs> <laughs> it is 56 points. The Brisbane Lions lead 11 9 75, plays 3 1 19. Uh, let's see if we can check in with Lauren Borden down on the boundary. Loz. Hello, Ben. Yes, it's nice to finally have you. I'm just sitting in a dugout, probably to the left of your position here, so slightly in from the benches. It feels a little bit like a, a kind of a BBL dugout, but so so nice to be down here. Like you mentioned, really, that country footy feel and so close to the action, which I think everyone's really admiring from down here is just seeing the strength of the muscles in the players and just being able to see them up close. So it's such a nice way to watch footy down here and with the sun shining, going nearly, what, across the ground, still beautiful conditions here for the second half. The players out and in position are ready for this second half. It is a, a picture. This venue did host uh, the Adelaide Bike for a period of time in the Australian Baseball League as well. Set to go in the second half. 11 9 75 the Lions. North Melbourne 3 1 19. 56 points. You're with Matt Clinch. Sherry wins down the tap against McAdooney to Davies Uniat. What sort of statement can North Melbourne play? Great smother by Dunkley. It spills out the way of Sheasel. Sends it straight down the middle. Simpkin and Zorko both got a cruel bounce. The hand pass from Zerha missed the intended target. Zorko takes it back for the Brisbane Lions. Hand pass to Wilmot through the middle to Dunkley. To uh, Hipwood who's run down. Luke McDonald, a great tackle. And it looked like the Brisbane Lions was just going to waltz it straight through the middle of the ground. But a great tackle as uh, Luke McDonald switches it to left half bat. Sheasel works it up to Stevenson. He marks just below our commentary position. And just in the field of play is a narrow ground. 30 metres narrower, narrower than the MCG. Almost the same length. Stevenson kicking inside, attacking 50. Massive pack forms. McInerney Robes gives it off to Berry. Brisbane through the middle of the ground. McCarthy running onto the bouncing ball. Ziggs to the logo. Back feeds a handball to Wilmot. Goes back to Neil. Had a heap of it. Disposal number 24 for Lockie Neal. Gives it off to Zorko. Stabs it short to Rayner. Outer edge of the square. Gives it back to Zorko. Running by. Kicks to half forward in the Danaher direction. Sport away by Combin. There to mop up. Here's McDonald for North. Gives it off to Fisher. Kicks from half back to half forward. Unable to mark Larky. Roving Stevenson. Running away from them. Will kick into the forward line. Looking for Greenwood in front, Andrews. Out points him. Good defensive mark. The Lions by 56. 0437 774 That's the SMS line number. Keep your text coming. Just the 13th time North Melbourne have been inside forward 50 throughout the match. As Hugh McCluggage kicks up to Link McCarthy at left half forward. Brisbane have made it look easy at times. Kicks inside 50. Hip with the target. Can't take the mark. And a free kick for a hold. And it's going North Melbourne's way. Luke McDonald, who's undersized but giving the best in which he's got. He takes the mark and switches it. Out pass comes from Dawson. He links up at left half back and Zach Fisher around the boundary line. Kicks it up towards Greenwood and Sherry. Greenwood just dropped an overhead mark. Gathers it with a hand pass to Zerha. To Sherry, back to Zerha. And left half forward. Looks up inside 50. Options are plenty. As Ford's got forward and he takes the mark. Only a couple of metres out from goal. Up against the left goal post. And a chance for North Melbourne to keep their fourth goal of the match and first of the second half. It was better, much better ball movement by, by North Melbourne. So you can take the ball from one end of the ground to the other. Ford steps out, snaps it through. And North Melbourne start on a positive note in this second half. Just two and a half minutes gone. And Eddie Ford has his first of the afternoon. 11-9-75 the Brisbane Lions and North Melbourne 4 one the margin is 50 points, three minutes gone. Third and, and what I like about that that ball movement is when they did take a mark, it was play on as quickly as they possibly can. So that doesn't then allow Brisbane to get set. So Eddie Ford comes from basically the opposite side of the ground with it with a really long run to, to be able to to be able to kick that goal. So that's 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 the type of running that you want from from those from those those type of players that they, they can run deep into your forward line when the when the, the space is there. Well, he spoke about George Wardlaw and his haircut looking like the fifth beetle. Eddie Ford nicknamed Elvis because of his sideburns. Really leaning into it at the moment as well. North, they'll take it out of the middle again. Davies Uniac, high clearing kick, inside 50, bouncing ball. Stasevich is there, slaps it away towards the boundary line, gathers. Now he'll kick up towards the wing. Turnover, Tucker though fumbles it. 
And a holding free kick. It'll go the way of North. Stevenson streams away with it. Looks for a leading Larky. Vice-like grip. Strong hands. Takes it 25 out. Very wide out. Left forward pocket. Well, a lot of attention. Great mark. Probably option may have been the wrong option. It's only a short kick with someone right up, you know, on, on your backside. But what a what a fantastic mark under that pressure. North Melbourne come out with real intent at the moment. What a find he was. Pick 73 back in 2016. Trying to kick his 200th goal in AFL footy. It's across the face. A minor score. 4 2 26 move north. Brisbane 11 9 75, 49 points. How's the burger, Mick? <laughs> <laughs> Burger's good. Chips are better. It's cold. I'm going to have it then, and you can take over. <laughs> what sort of teammates you need when they ask you when you're mid mouthful? Starsevich turns it straight over, kicks it to Wardlaw, who marks middle of uh, Norwood Oval, just to the right of the centre circles. And North Melbourne getting a little bit more chance to go forward early here in this third quarter. George Wardlaw looks along in the direction of Greenwood. Can't take the mark. Spoiled away by Payne. It spills to McCluggage. He gathers it half back. Hand pass away to Dunkley. Almost brought down by Core. Good tackle. Spills the way of Leicester. Hand pass to Berry and back to McCluggage. At left half back for the Brisbane Lions. Kicks up towards Danaher. Compton made the spoil. It's gathered by Dawson. Free kick coming back. Danaher was impeded after the ball had come clear. He'll take the free kick on the wing. Danaher wants to... Kick it short to McCluggage. Right on the logo. Chips a kick towards half forward. Mark taken by Rayner. He'll wait and release McCluggage with the handball. Kick charge down. Ricochets inside 50. Hipwood handball back to McCluggage. McCluggage coming through. Better mop up Fisher for North. Off the combin. Kicks off a step. Good kick. And he finds a teammate there in Ford. He will send it out towards halfback. Curtis leading up the mark. Comes infield with the kick, overshoots Wardlaw. Zorko there for Brisbane, wins it back. Handball to Rayner, runs an arc, chips the ball inside, 50 into the pocket. Up goes Combin. Good defensive mark. The Lions by 49. North improved in this third term, six minutes in. Charlie Combin goes back to the last line of defence. Harry Sheasel takes the mark, short to McDonald. It's out to left half back. So the Roos trying to build across half back. It's Tucker. Works it to Zach Fisher. The former blue around the boundary line to Jaden Stevenson. Stevenson's going to continue on that line. Back to Tucker. So not just able to get a little bit more of the game on their terms. Stevenson kept running. Receives the hand pass against the boundary line. Drives a kick inside 50. It won't get to Larky. Greenwood went up with one arm. Can't take the mark. Larky tries to dive on the footy. No free kick. It spills out the way of Curtis. Bounces off an opponent. Dribbles it towards goal. Classy finish. That had those applauding at the Roger Woodcock end. And they'd be raising their glasses. He was able to kick it end over end from the left forward pocket with absolute ease. And all of a sudden, North Melbourne have kicked two goals to start this third term. The margin back to 43 points, the Brisbane Lions way. 11-9-75 to North Melbourne, 5-2-32. Seven minutes gone on ABC Sport. You're with Mick Moldhouse and Adam Ramanaskis. Well, you'd think they'd change jumpers because the precision of North Melbourne coming out of the back line was so good they were able to find targets. It wasn't a matter of trying to make up a target. They found genuine targets. So Brisbane sat inside them, um, forced him to the boundary, but by sitting too far inside, they were able to give clear marks. Stevenson got the ball back again on his second occasion. Got the, got the football in. Curtis is a, is a, he's a fantastic um, finisher. Yeah. I watched him, I think it was last week, so I, I'm not surprised he kicked that one. First time today they've kicked back-to-back goals. McInerney hacks it out of the middle straight to Sheasel. Marks it centre-half back for North. <laughs> Dave is texting on the SMS line. Stop, Says a lot of people at the footy for a Friday afternoon. Is anyone at work in Adelaide? <laughs> kick up towards the wing and our fans, a free kick will go to Simpkin. There are a lot of people here. 38% of the tickets this week by interstate visitors. Simpkin chipping into the pocket for North. Larky launching, doesn't mark, brings it down. Arriving Greenwood, little fend off. Gets a handball away. Back to Zerha. Handball off to Powell. He's wrapped up quickly. And a ball up to come. 48 metres out from the attacking goal here for North, who have made all of the early running in the second half. Thrown up in the air. Sherry tries to knock it down in the direction of Simpkin, but it's gathered by Berry. High ball to halfback. Danaher and Comden underneath. Dawson in from the side. 
Spoils out of play and a high five between Condon and Dawson as their confidence and they try and get their chemistry going together. Yeah, you're spot on there, Matty. It, it, it is a bit of chemistry and it's a little bit of acknowledgement that things were going better. So ben it's good to see. Ben Mackay left in the off-season, headed to the Bombers, so they very much have to build their key pillars once oh. more. <laughs> Tuckley gave a hand pass right in the snores of Tristan Sherry. It spills to Wilmot. Hand pass to Neil. Can't break away from Powell. Powell brought down by Dunkley. Great show of strength from both players as Powell not intimidated by the strength of Dunkley. I tell you what I've been surprised at what number of times that North players have found Brisbane players with their hand pass today. McCluggage with the clearance. High ball straight up and down the mine shaft. Everybody misses it. Spills down for Brisbane. Berry away to Dunkley to the run of Neil. Kick inside 50 in the Cameron direction in front. Good mark from Core in the back pocket for North. Kicks across the goal mouth. Spots up Tucker. Right back pocket. Wants to move it down the eastern wing. Kicks out in front of Simpkin. He'll slap it on close to the boundary line. It'll tumble out. And a throw in to come. Well, Question for you. Sorry, Rama. Well, I was just going to say, uh, Powell is now running with Lockie Neal. Yes. So everywhere he goes, Powell's going. And it, uh, had to do it. Lockie Neal was the absolute dominant player in that first half of the Lions. Adam Ramanaskis, Mick Moldhouse, Matt Lynch, Ben Cameron and Lauren Borden with you on ABC Sport. Of course, still to come, Port Adelaide and Essendon later on tonight. A double header. Tomorrow is the mouth-watering affair as well with Carlton and Fremantle, the two unbeaten sides. Along in the Western Bulldogs tomorrow night. Another stoppage. McInerney tries to win down the tap. Spills down the way of McCluggage. Kicks inside 50 over the head of Gardner. Good juggling mark by Core. He takes the mark in the right back pocket. Bit of conference series. It's his second he's taken in a couple of minutes. And his use there is terrific. Kicks. Well, to get the ball to another North Melbourne player 30, 40 metres in front. Yeah, kicks out to Luke Davies Uniac, who marks up against the boundary line where the fans are standing on that far side of the ground, the eastern side of Norwood Oval. Tansen comes inboard and Sheasel takes the mark. Brisbane by 43 points, 11 9 75 to North Melbourne, 5 2 32. North with the only two goals of this third quarter. Sheasel a thumping kick to half forward, contesting it Sherry, ball pinballing around. Lions have the numbers. Fletcher stepping back, dribbling a kick forward. Onto it, McCluggage on the centre line, eastern side of the parade. He'll kick to half forward, bringing it down there. Core. Then at ground level again, Brisbane arrive. They've got the numbers through Dunkley. Handball back to McCluggage. Attacking point of the square. Chips inside 50. Good mark from Scott. That's in a half back here for North, just inside the defensive 50. They've changed their setup, uh, Rama. They're playing in front on their yeah. back line, and, they, and they're reaping the benefits. They've taken three marks now that Brisbane would have taken in the first half. Out towards Curtis, can't take the mark. McCluggage to the Brisbane Lions. Hand pass away to Fletcher from 52. Tannehill on the lead. Yes, Takes yes, the mark. Was yes. just able to get away from Luke McDonald in the size mismatch. Yeah. As soon as you say it, Mick. Yeah, well, he got caught yeah. behind. Yeah. Tannehill found that space and kept the space. And, and given that he's probably three or four inches and eight to ten kilos heavier, he was never going to move him. So once you lose contact with a player like that at your size, then you've just got to, well... You've got to hope he drops it. Joe Danaher kicked two goals in the opening quarter. Looking for his third from directly in front, 20 metres out. Danaher comes in and fires it through. Straight into the Sir Edward T. Smith Pavilion at the parade end here of Norwood. And Brisbane with their first goal of the third quarter to restore a 49-point advantage. 12-9-81 to North Melbourne, 5-2-32. Joe Danaher with his third. You're with Vic Moldhouse and Adam Ramanaskis on ABC Sport. Well, it's, it's changed, Rama, in, in regard to inside 50s. At least it's 8-7. Eight eight to seven. Eight to seven. Yeah. At least it's eight, eight, eight. close. Yeah. Close. Um, and, I wouldn't have, and I wouldn't have thought that. I wouldn't have thought it would have been eight in favour of, of, of Brisbane, given that North seems to have it. Yeah, it's about the same number of possession rates. Of, but We've got a contest, take away the score line. We've got a contest on the ground at the moment, and, that, and that's just good for the public. It's good to see. It's good for North Melbourne. There's a little bit of confidence there by a couple of the back one players look far different. The first of a Friday night doubleheader coming up after this, Port Adelaide and Essendon. Clearance out of the middle, coming the way of Greenwood for North. Answorth there for Brisbane, though. Handball into the middle of the ground, fighting after it, Stevens. Wrapping it in quickly, then losing it, Dunkley. Getting back involved, Berry over the top is Greenwood. 
And See, the umpire uh, wants to come it, in and it, ball it it's up. It's that one there, Nick. Yeah, touch. Stevens there. Double touch. That's just, that's got to be one take. That's a ground ball. It's not bobbling. Take the ball and push uh, and use your legs to get out of there. Berry extracts it. Gets the clearance. Handball away towards Dunkley. Thumping kick up towards half forward. No mark taken. Dawson dropping it. Onto it, Hipwood. Handball releases Berry. His handball releases Bailey. Runs inside 50. Shanks his kick. It floats through. And, and Tumbles that, through. That was the perfect example. So Berry there, ground ball. One touch. One touch takes it. Should have been a goal. 50-point lead. The Brisbane Lions wait. Scott brings it back in and finds Aiden Kaur. Straight down the middle to Luke Davies, Unia. And hand pass it back to Scott. So they get the centre half back. He drives the kick into the middle of the ground. Not a good kick for Ford. It was caught behind. And Harris Andrews takes the easiest of marks. Centre yeah. of Norwood Oval. Yeah, if you're going to take a hand pass like that, your responsibility then is to find a target. And it doesn't matter. If, if you can't find a long target, find a target. Just don't drive it down and let uh, Brisbane set up their play, which... That's going to happen, and, it's, and it is happening. Out to Fletcher, who takes the mark at left half back. He works it up to McCluggage. He's between wing and half forward. He goes for a precise pass, looking for Gardner. He rises and marks it left half forward. Long kick looking for Archie, who tries to get a fly. Can't take it. McCarthy out the back. Good work by Stevens. Got the hand pass away to Core. Quick hand pass away back to Stevens. He comes up with a clear kick in the middle of the ground. Larky takes the mark. He dropped he it at the last on. moment, though. He <laughs> played on. He's going to get the benefit of the doubt here, and Harris Andrews has the right to lay his claim. And he's, and he's looking for 50 metres. He wanted 50. <laughs> Larky will kick up to Dersma. Attacking point of the square here for North. Wheels and goes. Kicks into the pocket looking for Zerha. Sticks up one hand. It's punched away from him by Lester. Down at the Roger Woodcock end. You might be wondering why Roger Woodcock. 367 games, 602 goals for Norwood. Played from 69 to 81. A mercurial half forward. Not too many half forwards get a end named after them, do they, Mick? Well, from not, the not today's footy. Greenwood jams it on the boot and bounces it through a minor score there for North. So a dual premiership play-up, that is Roger Woodcock. I reckon they get North of making a change. Uh, yep, I reckon Shields is coming on. We get Lauren Borden to keep an eye on that as Zorko brings it into Fletcher. Back to Zorko, kicks up to Archie. Back with the fly with Stevens. The two collide. Stevens might be worse away. The ball spills out and it's locked underneath. As Good play. Courageous play. Eddie Ford is slow to rise. Darcy Gardner laying the tackle. And the umpire gathers the footy and ready to throw it back out in the middle of Norwood Oval. In fact, a free, a free kick. kick. Going McCluggage's way at centre-half back. Comes in to Zorko and the switch is on. Has Hansworth at the back edge of the centre square. Chips a kick through the middle of the ground. Bailey takes the mark. Thought about the hand pass away to Wilmot. Now pushes back behind his mark. Kicks laterally out to Danaher just in front of the two benches. Tom, Tom, come after. Come after. Yeah, the umpire asking Charlie Comden to come back a step. Danaher off a step. Kicks into the middle of the ground and Zorko marks. Just looking for the avenues out wide. Kicks out in front of Darcy Gardner. Has about 10 metres on Stevens. He gathers. Looks into the pocket. Archie the target. Fisher did well to spoil it down. Cal Archie back onto it. Hand pass to Lester at left half forward. Sends a high ball towards the top of the 50. McInerney's there. Can't take the mark. Charging through as Bailey. He can't get a disposal away. And the umpire will ball it up. 10 metres out. It just feels like Brisbane are taking their foot off the accelerator. Yeah. yeah. Up it goes. Slapped down there by McInerney and dribbled on goal. The last minute by Berry hit the post. Just, another minor score. They're not, they're not going through the motions, I wouldn't say, Brisbane. But they're just shy of it. Yeah. <laughs> Lost a bit yeah. of the fight. Yeah. Which we saw in that first quarter where they kicked seven goals to two, Brisbane. McKercher can't take the mark. Lowman slides in, gathers to Brisbane. Left half forward, swings back onto his left, long towards Rainers in the pack. It clears to the back. Tanaher into the open goal. He'll put through his fourth. As easy as your life for Joe. As he slams through back-to-back goals for him. And Brisbane are back out by 56 points. 13-11-89 to North Melbourne, 3-33. 18 minutes gone, third term on ABC Sport. You're with Adam Ramanaskis and Mick Mulhouse. So, so Mick, Joe was in the ruck, mm. and he was starting to drift forward because McInerney had come back onto the ground. McInerney stayed deep, so Joe's direct opponent still was uh, a Cobden, but he didn't track him. No, he didn't track with him. Again, it's just, it's just the little disciplines that you've got to... 
you know, as a footballer, you've got to stay switched on for the, the whole time. Yeah, and, and also, the more you play together, you, you do pick that up. So the, this North Melbourne defence probably hasn't played more than 10 games together. They're switched and s- swung around. So the more they play together, those little things we pick, you hope will be picked up. Yeah. Lauren Borden on the boundary. Yeah, Liam Shields has just come onto the field, had a bit of a warm-up. He's come on probably from your position there, nearly on the North Melbourne bench. You might be able to see who's come off a little bit better than I can. Try and work it out for you, Loz. Power with the clearance. High ball inside 50. Payne back there. Having a mark at fullback for the Brisbane Lions. They lead by 56 points. Joe Danaher with four majors. Short kick from Payne out towards Archie. Has it at left half back. Plenty of famous names have played for the Red Legs here at Norwood over the journey. Speak about some of those as Archie kicks up to the wing. Going up. Dawson hands to it. Doesn't bring it down. Gardner there for the lines off to Lohman. Spirals a kick down the wing. Bouncing ball. Core gets there first for North. Handball away. McDonald spins past Danaher. Gives it back to Core. Nearly runs into trouble. Steps his man. He'll kick around the eastern wing. A little close to the boundary line. Coming across Leicester. Out of play it goes. And a throw in on that eastern wing. So I went down into the bowels of the grandstand. Had a look at some of the photos. Fabulous Phil Carmen, Mick. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They give them great nicknames here. Neil Balm was here. Yeah, of course. Uh, Rowdy. Aish. Yeah. Uh, Michael Aish, one yeah, of the Michael legends. Aish. Yeah, Michael Aish. Nicknamed Rowdy, I think, wasn't it? Son James, of course, would go on to be a premiership player while he was a teenager before being selected in the AFL draft. Chance for North Melbourne to try and clear as Sheasel gathers. Quickly gave away the hand pass. Tucker around the body. Inside 50. Zerha caught behind. Sported away from Stasevic. Onto it forward. Hand pass away to Dursma. Look away. Hand pass. Back to forward. Hand pass to Shields. Back to forward. He's going to kick it backwards. It might work. Fisher not 15. Yes. Well, well given to the benefit of the doubt. I didn't say it was 15. I said it had been paid 15. Yeah. Yeah. Anything, anything that's kicked inside the front 50, if it goes five metres, it's, it's 15 apparently. Yeah. So this is another thing for the forwards, Matt. You wonder why I, ha- I get crook on forwards. Yes. They get everything. They get 30 seconds to have a shot. Any defender has five seconds. They mark it. They straighten them in front. I have noticed that, Mick. A hop and a skip from Zach Fisher from 54. It's out to the right, and it won't come back through for a minor score. And the margin is 55 points. The Brisbane Lions way at the 21-minute mark of the third term on ABC Sport. Short kick in up the middle from Wilmot. I have noticed, Mick, over the journey, all of your favourites were sort of defensively minded players. Of course, uh, it's not a coincidence, is it? Well, I shouldn't. You, sh- you can't say that. I don't. I don't. I, don't, <laughs> I just did. I, I don't. Um, I don't discriminate where they play. Here go the lines down the eastern wing. Archie handball to Hipwood. Low ball inside 50. Cameron Cartmark follows up. Lomans there. He's wrapped up. Gets a handball away at fullback North. Sheasel able to work it out. Handball away to Core. Handball to Davies Uniac. Back to Sheasel. Fisher stepping. Mm. Kicking a clearance. Not a great kick. Hansworth goes up. Brings it down. Ford roves it off hands. North should work it out through Powell. He gets the hand pass away to Scott through the middle of the ground. Greenwood on the lead. Harris Andrews did so well just to get a fist in there. Leicester's hand pass. Missed Harris Andrews. Another chance for Greenwood. Knocks it out to Scott. They have numbers running past. The hand pass to Tucker. Looks up towards half forward. Kicks to Dersma. He marks just inside the boundary at right half forward. And then kicks over the head of the intended target, McKersha. Wilmot gathers for Brisbane. Hand pass over the top to Harris Andrews. He turns and comes inboard and Kalashi takes them out. That's what's just so frustrating for Alistair oh. Clarkson when there's just basic skill errors from North Melbourne. Yeah, and a young player makes a mistake, misses his target by um, probably half a metre. <gasps> Archie, long kick up to the wing. Hipwood and also Combin, both with hands on it. Mark Pate to Combin. Well, that's two of their, their, their key defenders now have taken three marks this quarter. I think that's important for their confidence. The Lions by 55. Combin with a high, shallow inside 50 here for North. Massive pack forms. Andrews puts his knuckles through it. Out the back it goes, though. Greenwood out after it. And it'll be carried out by Leicester. 450 stoppage coming up here for North. Who were some of your favourites, Mick? Forwards, you mean? Or? No, just general players over oh, the journey. Oh, got hundreds. Jimmy Clement. John made have a guess. John Pike. Hundreds. Hundreds of players. Anyone who played in the back half or was defensively minded? I love my forwards when they're kicking goals. 
From the throw in, <laughs> Wardlaw ridden in the turf by Answorth. Lockie Neal gets the hand pass away to Rayner. Brisbane out of defence with a hand pass to Lester. Kicks up towards Joe Danaher. He's leading a long way from home. He marks it left half back. It's a good sign for Brisbane when they're coming up the ground like that, just to help out their back line. And the interesting thing there is he's 50 metres away from Hipwood. And now I think that's oh. important. Plays on, he's gone. <laughs> just as Nick was summing him up, Dersma realised he'd stepped off his line. Zane Dersma lays the tackle and wins a free kick for holding the ball. Well, he hopefully he can knock this over from there. That breeze should help him a little bit. And it's not a bad length kick. So he was the young player we were talking about who missed the target a few moments ago. A chance to instantly redeem himself. Pick four in the draft last year. Zane Dersma, of course, the brother of Xavier. His sister Jasmine also plays for Port Adelaide in the AFLW. So a talented family with a sibling still to come. Dersma from just outside 50. It's out to the right-hand side. And a minor score. 54 points is the Brisbane Lions lead at the 25-minute mark of the third term. Just on the Dersmas. They got uh, Xavier, Zane, Willem and Yasmin with the Y. So... What's that? Four of the last five in the alphabet in terms of the letters taken care of for the Dersmers. Good mark by Hipwood on the wing from the kick-in. He'll come infield with his kick. Mark taken by Rayner. Ford feeds the handball to the runner, Bailey. Lines through the middle. Kicks inside 50 and Lohman on the end of it. 40 out. 45 degree angle right half forward. That's the part of the game. They've done a lot better. Yes, they have. Uh, Just taking your point before, he almost belongs in the full game. Yep, yep. He's just a, he had something a bit different. He, he, seems, he looks a natural forward. He does. And 30, he seems to be more, more consistent than, say, a Rainer. 30 goals in the VFL last year for Kyle Lohman. So he knows where the sticks are. And this will be across the face. Danaher will have a run and jump at it. Back there, North. Keep it in play. Now they're under pressure. Sheasel in the goal square. Away to Shields. Handball to McKercher. Trying to work it out. Goes back to Core. Core will get a handball away to Combin. He'll give it back to Shields and a clearing kick up to the wing. Not a great kick in the end. You can hear the groans from Mick Moldhouse as well. Mont takes the mark, turns and comes inboard for Brisbane. Well, what's, that thing we, has it. Yeah, what's that thing we say, Matt, about brains, football brains? Just Not just banging it down. Zorko long towards McCarthy who rises. Can't come down with the mark. As the tackle is laid by... Zach Bailey and the ball is locked in the left forward pocket as Harry Sheasel slowly gets to his feet. Toss in the air. Hipwood doing the ruck work against Sherry. Sherry wins it down straight to Bailey though at Brisbane. Hand pass to Berry to Hipwood to Kalachi. Around the body he misses across the face of goal and misses everything as it bounces out of play. Up against the right behind post. A throw in with Brisbane leading by 54 points. 27 minutes gone. Third term on ABC Sport. Timmy Applecross on the SMS mix says... Our mixed favourite eagle was Bluey for exactly that reason. Sherry taking it out of the ruck, gets a handball away to Combin. Wax his right boot through it out towards Dersma. Bouncing ball gathers on the bounce. Handball away towards Tucker. And that is three-quarter time here at the parade. The Brisbane Lions by 54 points. 13-11-89 plays 5-5-35. 27 minutes is how long that third quarter ran for. Mick Malthouse and Adam Ramanaskis. Tell us what they've seen in that third term in a moment. Uh, keep your text coming to 0437 774 774. Matt Clinch, Ben Cameron calling all of the action. Lauren Borden on the boundary. Might just check in very quickly with Loz. Loz. Thanks, Ben. Yes, it was Dylan Stevens that came off for North Melbourne, so just had the five disposals throughout the match, and Liam Shields came on for North Melbourne. So he was using that tactical uh, sub last year a lot. Shields, obviously a veteran now in North Melbourne, having some experience. So used in the same role today, while Brisbane still has James Tun still available to be subbed in the last quarter. Thank you for that, Loz. Lauren Borden between the benches. We are at the parade. It's a beautiful setting. Uh, the opening match of a double header on Friday here in Gather Round. Coming up after this, we will bring you Essendon and Port Adelaide live from the Adelaide Oval. Lions by 54 points, 13-11-89, plays 5-5-35. The goal kickers, it's the Joe show for Joe Danaher. Four goals for him, two for Loman, McCarthy and Hipwood, and then singles to Zorko, Cameron and Gardner. While for North Melbourne, just the five goals, all individuals, Larky, Curtis, Sherry, Ford, and Greenwood. It is three-quarter time. The Lions by 54. This is Gather Round on ABC Sport. You've waited so patiently. Where is Bluey? 
But on Sunday the 14th of April, I definitely heard something. It's only the biggest ever episode of Bluey. Ta-da! But first, what? just when you thought it was safe. Pick up the granny! No! A brand new episode of Bluey this Sunday. No! Bad granny! All new Bluey starts this Sunday, 8 a.m. on ABC iView. You're listening to the AFL Gather Round. AFL. On radio. ABC Sport Digital. And take us with you on the ABC Listener. Back to Zerha and left half forward. Looks up inside 50. Options are plenty. As Ford's got forward and he takes the mark. Ford steps out, snaps it through. And North Melbourne start on a positive note in this second half. Just two and a half minutes gone. How's the burger, Mick? Burger's good. Chips are better. It's cold. I'm going to have it then, and you can take over. <laughs> what sort of teammates do you need when they ask you when you're mid-mouthful? No free kick. It spills out the way of Curtis. Bounces off an opponent. Dribbles it towards goal. Classy finish. So down to her kick. Two goals in the opening quarter. Looking for his third from directly in front. 20 metres out. Danaher comes in and fires it through. McKercher can't take the mark. Lohman slides in, gathers to Brisbane. Left half forward, swings back onto his left, long towards Rainers in the pack. It clears to the back. Danaher into the open goal. He'll put through his fourth. Who were some of your favourites, Mick? Hundreds. Hundreds of players. Anyone who played in the back half or was defensively minded? Dale, I, I love my forwards when they're kicking goals. The 2024 AFL Gather Round. On your radio. ABC Sport Digital. And on the ABC Listen app. The Brisbane Lions by 54 points. It is the opening match of a doubleheader on a Friday night in Gather Round in Adelaide. 13-11-89 plays 5-5. 35. Ben Cameron, Matt Clinch, Mick Malthouse, the coaching games record holder, and Adam Ramanaskis, the Essendon Premiership player, are with us here on ABC Sport. Well, look, it was an improved quarter, I, th- I think, by by North Melbourne. So, you, know, you, you look at just, just the raw stats, the possession count was even, the inside 50s were even, the clearances were, were even. So, there was there was big improvement there for, for North Melbourne. Two goals, two goals apiece in that quarter. And they had passages of play where they were able to move the ball from one end of the ground to the other. You know, they, they, they took some more care with the football. Their, their fundamentals were, were better at times, North Melbourne. But now it's about doing it consistently. Can they take this into the next quarter and, and do it again for another 30 minutes? And, you know, at least win yeah. the quarter. Try try win the quarter. Try come away from this game with, with a level of confidence. I thought uh, Brisbane no, I were just... They were just going. They were just going in that quarter. Um, you know, you could you see if they wanted to, they could have pressed a little bit harder. But you know, they they, 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 they just did enough in that quarter without without being anything special. Brisbane, um, you know, they're not trying to do anything special. I don't think now, Brisbane. They're not. You know, their back line's well on top. Harris Andrews has had a, a really strong game. Jake uh, Payne's had a really good game on on Nick Larkey. Their forward line is. You know, they got winners there in Danaher and Hipwood. Uh, Kyle Lyman that we've mentioned. Uh, a number of times, Darcy Gardner's been good, and they threw the middle of the ground. They were, they were, they were, they were good again. So, yeah, will and, they put the foot down, Mick, in this quarter? Well, I, I don't know. Well, we, we, as we spoke, Rammer at half time, all we want from North Melbourne is forget the scoreboard and have a crack in this quarter, yeah. and they won the quarter. So, but interesting about like you can't change this. But when I look at Brisbane's forward line, they've got three tours. they've all kicked goals, whereas. North Melbourne only got really generally just got the one larky. So you know, there's been some disappointment up in the north forward line, I reckon, because it's they're conceding height, yes, but they're not. Con- you don't have to concede effort. You don't have to concede space. You don't have to concede being smart enough to get where the football is going to be. Yeah. So they they just haven't worked together enough on the forward. On that side, they worked hard because I, I'm, I reckon North have had a real crack today. They just they come up against a side who had a lot to prove and we're going to play hard football. But they, they won the corner. Great friend of ours, oh, Harvey, just uh, walking uh, by. The Boomer's the boom, the boom just going to pass them. Do they need yeah, him uh, out there? He's, he's, he's going home, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Shuffling out at three-quarter time. The final quarter underway. Lions leading by 54. Powell out of the middle. Feeds Davies Uniak a handball. He'll kick to full forward. Wants a mark down there. Greenwood contesting it. Clearing, though, Leicester for Brisbane towards halfback. No one able to mark Dunkley. Diving handball away to Berry. Gets it off to Stasevic. Clearing kick to the wing. Looking for Rayner. Contesting with Scott. Nearly marks it. Coming through Dawson. Paddles it on. 
And the boundary umpire in full effect. A throw in to come <laughs> on the wing. There's, there's the worry. Ball goes into the forward line. No talls. have got smalls. And the ball gets rushed out. And, and that is really disappointing. That ball's on the deck. Those smalls have got to go to work. And North Melbourne aren't working hard enough at the foot of that fallen ball. The AFL Games coaching record. Mick Malthouse with you on ABC Sport. It spills down the direction of Powell. Gathers hard against the boundary. Hand pass to forward to Fisher. Kick back inboard looking for Dawson. Pinched by Zach Bailey. Gathers it left half forward. Great kick off the outside of the boot. Somehow controlled it to find Joe Danaher. Just made North Melbourne pay from the skill error. And this is in Joe Dan- Danaher territory. Out and, to the left, 50 out. And Matt, not only skill error, decision-making error. They hand-passed the ball three times in front of us, gave it to a player on left foot who had nowhere to go. Each one of those hand-passes could have been kicked forward. Now, I know that you've got a hand-pass at times, but you clear the area. That ball goes forward. This ball's now forward on the half-forward line. Joe Danaher has four goals for the match. He comes in and starts at left. It stays well left. Clips the top of the left-behind post out of bounds on the full. I was going to say to you, Ram, I thought it was a right goal post from this position. What do you reckon? <laughs> Breeze is just slightly drifting uh, across. Yeah, I think he just missed kick that joke. <laughs> I think it was a shank. Yeah. He is susceptible to the odd shank. Floated like a wounded duck. I don't think he got a flush as Fisher kicks up to a contest on the wing, punched away, trying to come. Those standing in front of the Roger Woodcock end. They just got a little louder the longer the game's gone on. So, oh. so I reckon just there, they've got Greenwood coming up the ground with Larky. So that drags Andrews up, so the ball gets punched back. Don't let Andrews go up there. Just don't, you don't go up there as, a, as his opponent. From the throw in, stolen by Davies Uniac. Dumps it on his left, out of bounds on the full. I think the third of the day on this narrow Pretty ground. much in the same spot, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, straight yeah. three of them. Yep. Maybe there's a little you could take wind this assisting runner. that. 54 points, Brisbane's advantage. 0437774774. I'd still try to find a target, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> and so short to Perry and left half forward. Long kick inside 50. Danaher the target. Can't take the mark. Fisher gathers the north. Hand pass away to Scott. Kicks out to half back. It's wide of Curtis and Liam Shields. is gathered by Lester. Hand pass to Fletcher. Back to Zorko on 50. Into the pocket for Charlie Cameron. He's been quiet this afternoon. Had just the one disposal. He kicked the opening goal of the match. A chance to try and get involved late here. Is that it, Matt? Just one. That's it. Yep. Wow, that's that's a bit of a... Given, the boil. Well, given the inside 50s total close to a record, that's quite unbelievable. He has been off the ball for a, for a few weeks, though, hasn't he? Yep. So he's kicked four goals, eight for the season. Charlie Cameron out to the right. He comes in and pushes it to the left-hand side, a minor score. He's been able to add to his one goal for the match, but two disposals. Brisbane by 55 points. Just on that, uh, the Brisbane Lions have been the second worst Ford 50 ground ball get team this year, which is usually a strength of theirs with the likes of Charlie Cameron. He hasn't been winning them and can't even get the ball period today as North try and work it up the eastern wing. Curtis shrugs off a tackle, gets a handball away. Going back after it, McCluggage shoveling out a handball to Fletcher. Centering ball towards the goal square. Rainer launching off his hands into the post. And a minor score. So Lions by 55, four minutes into the final term. Gather round on ABC Sport. Harry Sheasel brings North Melbourne back into play. Long ball towards Greenwood and Harris Andrews. It clears them and Sherry. Free kick for holding, and it's going to go the way of Harris Andrews. Oh, you just don't need him. Don't take him down there. I don't know. I don't get that. Andrews goes short. McCluggish takes the mark. Thought about the hand pass to Answorth. Decides against that. Can chip it to Danaher, who's on the lead. And he takes yeah, the look. mark in front of Aiden Core. That was just Well, it's a tricky pedestrian. one, that one, because Tom Powell has clearly been given the job on Lockie Neal. He should have really dropped back into that hole where Danaher led to, but he wanted to stay disciplined on his direct opponent and on his assignment. So I sort of get that. Aiden Core then has a a bit of a go at him, wanting him to push back. So, yeah, it's, that's a tricky one for, for Powell. Four goals, two so far this afternoon for Joe Danaher. Slightly left of centre. 45 metres out. Fires it out to the right, and it stays out there. He's trying to work with a breeze, but can't quite get it to work for him at the moment. 57 points is the lead for the Brisbane Lions. He's throwing stuff, Benny. I would have thought you aimed for the left-hand goal post here, Ramo. I might have the wind wrong. 
I'm not sure Joe's going to get well, it Well, I don't either. think Joe's got it right either, just quietly. Combin kicking from the back pocket up towards the wing, and Answorth comes in and marks for Brisbane. Leading by 57. He'll kick into the pocket, looking for a leading Cameron. Charlie on the burst. Wraps it up on his chest, and he'll go back and kick from the right forward pocket. Yeah, good mark. Really strong mark. Good lead, good, good, uh, good kick. A lot of pressure in the air. Even though he took it on his chest, it's still a great, very, very good mark. Charlie Cameron trying to kick himself into gear. The drop punt is missing narrow. Missing the lot out of bounds on the full. And he is an out of sorts Charlie Cameron. Just, just a little watch on Lockie Neal here. He's running off the ground with a, with a bit of a limp. So Yeah, he has too. The physio or doctor's out with him. So hopefully he's okay. He's had a, he's had a brilliant game. But Lauren Borden to keep an eye on that as Harry Sheasel has it for North Melbourne. Kicks up towards Larky at half back, spoiled away by Payne. Front and centre Shields gives the hand pass away to Powell. Pinched by Zorko. Hand pass to Bailey for Brisbane. Over the top to Fletcher. Changed his mind at the last moment. Dropped the footy. Sheasel gathers. Hand pass away. A skill error from Powell. McCarthy's brought down. Good follow up in the end. And Tom Powell wins back the footy for North Melbourne. In the left back pocket with Brisbane leading by 57 points. Powell, a long kick up towards Ford, goes up, drops the mark, out the back it goes, Simpkin fighting after it. Getting involved, Stevenson picking it up, Danaher for Brisbane. Tumble punt inside, attacking 50. Gardner puts his hands up, drops the mark. Call there for North, under pressure. Inside their defensive 50, Combins handball. Onto it, Lohman loses it under pressure. Ford tackled, handball away to Zerha. Handball to Scott. Zerha will get it back. He'll run straight into him, a McCluggage tackle. And he's wrapped up, holding the ball. Zerha pinged Brisbane back with it. Lions by 57. I want people to text in and let us know. What's your favourite suburban ground? Danaher receives the hand pass, drives it long into the pocket. McCarthy came flying late. Off hands, it goes out of play. Have you got an early nomination? Oh, I like Waverley. Just as oh, a suburban. Oh, sorry, sorry. Victoria Park is a place to go and have a kick. Oh. Oh, I mean, like a VFL, yeah. WAFL, SANFL sort yeah. of. Uh, yeah. Thrown back in. Jury tackle to the turf. Hipwood lays the tackle. When I was doing uh, ABC TV, it's Devonport Oval, isn't there, down in Tassie, which is a beautiful picturesque with the picket yeah. fence around the yeah. outside. Well, That's it, 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 one what, of my favourites. One, one at uh, Hobart's quite good too. It's yes. a bit of an angle. Yeah. Uh, the cluggage, hard against the boundary, centering kick in the direction of McCarthy, can't take the mark, spills away, still a chance for Brisbane, Charlie Cameron's after it, gathers, screws it over his shoulder, there he is Charlie, able to snap it through for his second of the afternoon, a quiet day for him, but getting involved in this final term, and Brisbane with their first goal of the final term through nine minutes, extend their lead to 63 points, 14-14-98, to North Melbourne, 5-5-35. Well, Mickey's trying to get involved in this last quarter. Charlie, I was surprised when it only said one possession for um, for the entire game, but he's now that's his third shot at goal this this quarter. So he's kicked the he's kicked the one goal, one and one out of bounds on on the full. So you know a bit more involvement for for Cameron. So he's he's uh yeah, it's, it's better, better. Yeah, yes. The sub's on, by the way. I'm just wondering where that is, Lockie Neal. It'd have to be. Well, why why risk him? Yeah, the, yeah he is. He's subbed out. And yeah, depends on what injury he's got. To, oh, well, doesn't matter what injury he's got. He's, he's got an injury. Yeah. Any nominations, gents, or just going to uh, scoff from the back, Rama? I'd like to think it's no, an injury. No, I'm, just, I'm just thinking. <laughs> Restart in the middle. Powell and Greenwood combining for North. Getting it back, Powell from McKercher. Gives it off to Scott. He'll kick for a leading Stevenson. High half forward. Brisbane by 63 points. Night setting in. Sunset here at the beautiful parade. Stevenson, low ball into the pocket. Andrews punches it away. Wilmot will get it. Gets around his man. Handball away to Bailey. Running down this broadcast wing. Bailey shanks a kick in the Hipwood direction. He might be out the back if he can get there. Bouncing ball. Hipwood onto it. 50 out. Nowhere to go. Goes back to McCluggage. Might have been a throw. Holding the ball. The ball. Wow. It wasn't he hand passing. That's a pretty hot whistle. It can't be holding the ball. It's either a throw. Yeah. I think it was a throw. I think he. Yeah. 
just signalled wrong perhaps Combin with the free kick for North so Charlie Combin who's played in defence this afternoon he looks up around the wing Shields is the target he flies in front and protects the space he marks in front of Darcy Wilmot yeah it's a good mark too Very, uh, that's an experienced mark that's a player that's, that understands the game Shields looks up towards half forward Larky's in a tangle Zerhar's there as well it clears them Payton had a big piece of it. In the end, he's going to be paid the mark. They're just, they're just too big over the ground. Yeah. At both ends of the ground. Yeah. Jack Payne takes the mark. I did think last year Michael Walters kicked four goals, Rama. So Joe Danaher has kicked 4 3 today. Did sort of ponder. I wonder how many goals have been kicked at Norwood Oval. The kick up towards the wing. Comden takes another impressive mark. He looks around the boundary line where the mark is taken by Scott. Went back through the archives. And Bruce Schultz kicked 19 goals too for Norwood <laughs> against Glenelg <laughs> back in 1941. I was optimistic we might see a sky- high-scoring game, but I thought 19 that's, was well and truly out of reach. That's, that's a good day, isn't it? 19-2. Zorko at half-back, chipping it into the middle. Stevenson puts his fist through it, knocks it down to McKercher. Hamble to Shields. Away to Stevenson again, straight into a dead end of Vansworth. North still going forward. Ball at half-forward for the Ruse. Unable to do anything at the moment. McCarthy goes in. He's tackled strongly by Shields, a ball up. Uh, lots of text coming through about favourite local grounds in terms of second tier in Australia. Richmond Oval in West Adelaide. Mm, Queenstown yep. Gravel Oval oh, yeah. for a Tassie gather round. That's from Lean Glenorchy. Davies Uniac's kick was smothered. Still a chance for North though. Greenwood got it to Simpkin. Hand pass over the top. There's my little room. Jams it on the boot and steers it straight through the middle. North Melbourne with their first goal of the final term. And a good moment for Zane Dersma. He kicks the third goal of his career. Brisbane's lead cut back to 57 points. 14-14-98 to North Melbourne. 6-5-41. So, Rama, it was uh, seven goals to two in the first quarter. It was 11 goals to three at half time. Since then, it's been relatively even. Yeah, well, well it is three goals apiece. So, you know, they're, they're, doing, they're doing... I think what they're, they're doing better in and around contests. They're not... They're yeah. not allowing Brisbane to break the tackles that they were breaking in, in the first half. And, you know, I even I thought there, like, Jaden Stevenson took the tackle. Usually he would just fall and give cop that, it. Yeah, give but the he, ball he, got, he got the ball. He, like, he tried to move the ball. He tried to get it on the boot still. You know, then um, McKerchick go, pushes through a tackle. So just little signs in this second half have been good for North. Lauren Borden on the boundary. Yeah, so you're right. It is Lockie Neal that's come off. He's got ice on his right ankle. It's been subbed. A bit of a precaution, Brisbane is saying, after he rolled his ankle last week. They're just not going to take any risks with him today. Understandable, Loz. Good work. McCluggage kicking to half forward. Bouncing ball for Lohman. Runs a U-turn. Now kicks on his right towards full forward. Getting Ooh, back, Combin. Good, good grab. Good mark. That is a really solid mark. This, they, they can build on this, North Melbourne. Yeah. I, I just think they've got a couple of players that haven't played a lot of football together, so... When you start taking marks like that, that, that is a very good contested mark. Taking three kick. marks in this yeah. Yeah, final has. turn. Yeah. Long has. kick up to the wing and Zerha there for North Melbourne. Gives yeah. a handball to Simpkins. Errant handball to Scott. He'll pick it up and give it back to Simpkin. Looks out to the far wing where he's able to steer his kick in the direction of Tucker. He marks between wing and half back on the far side, the eastern side of Norwood Oval. Turns it comes back inboard to Zach Fisher. Across the half-back line to McDonald. Now out to Aiden Kaur, who marks it right half-back. Kang is playing chip mark footy as he moves it out to Dawson, who marks it right half-back. So they've moved it from left half-back to right half-back, but they haven't moved one millimetre forward. Dawson gestures for someone to lead towards him. Kicks up towards Sherry. A player goes down. Harris Andrews off the ball. And I think this is going to be a Brisbane free kick against Paul Curtis. Yeah, it is, but... Uh and it was, it was a long way off the ball, but he did everything right, Curtis. He just made sure that um, Andrews didn't get involved. Fletcher to Tunstall, the sub into the action. Hand pass to Lohman, to Charlie Cameron up the ground. Swings on his right, kicks towards Danaher, almost juggled the mark. Compton rips it away from him. It won't be paid the mark. He retreats back with a hand pass to Fisher under pressure, all the way back to Core. Hand pass to Compton. His confidence is growing. Maybe he is a natural defender. Kicks up to Dawson at halfback. Hand pass away. Ford's kick is smothered. Gathered by Tunstall of the Brisbane Lions. Hand pass to Answorth. Kicks to McCarthy at half forward. Well, I certainly think Forwards will become backs, make no mistake. Yeah. The greatest backs in the, in the league have all been forwards. <laughs> McCarthy goes long to Hipwood. 
Upstairs goes the Big Easy and drags it in at full forward for the Lions. Good kick. Good smart kick by McCarthy. Just get it to the teeth of the goal square. Now where a defender can't spoil it over. And just a terrific mark there by... Uh, by Hip Hipwood. But McCarthy's a smart player. Yeah, we talk about today, we talk about players, you've got to have the smarts, and he ha- is a smart player. Here comes Eric Hipwood, plumb in front, 15 out, guides it through for his third. And the Brisbane Lions are playing themselves back into form. They're out by 63, 15, 14, 104, plays 6, 5, 41. Gather round on ABC Sport. The coaching games record hold up. Mick Malthouse and Adam Ramanowski. Mick, it's an interesting one because people go, oh, they've only beat North Melbourne, um, Brisbane. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Just chalk the win up on board. Get some confidence back into, into yourself individually, into the team collectively, and then move forward from here. They got Melbourne, yes. Brisbane on Thursday night, so yeah, it comes they're, around they're pretty tough. quickly. Yeah, the, yeah, the challenges. Yeah. But you've got to, that's right. You've got to go through the process, yeah. and, and they've gone through the process. I, I've, I've, I'm going to say, since half time though, I've been impressed in North, North yep. Melbourne's endeavour. Yep. Just they just like manpower at both ends of the ground. In fact, I reckon back in the now they're starting to assure themselves a couple of those players. So Melbourne, GW, uh, Melbourne, Geelong, and GWS the next three weeks of the Brisbane Lions. Lowman, hand pass to Dunkley, kicks up towards half forward. Hipwood has space, but it'll run across the boundary line and over in the I, left forward pocket. I certainly think uh, Combin is worth persevering with Absolutely. As, a, as a key defender. So he's, he's got a bit of height, obviously. He's smart. Uh, I know he's had a couple of goals kicked on him from, from Danaher today, but you know he knows how to intercept the mark. He, he positions himself well, so keep it going. He's just had such unluck with his Injury. body. Yeah. It's very... Got it at half forward. Hand pass away to Wilmont. Swings on his right hand side. Great center in key. Uh, G back with a flight. Who's confident on Q? I like him. A fourth mark in this final term as his confidence continues to rise. And a good decision to kick to the back pocket where Dersma takes the mark. Hand pass over the top. McDonald with a fumble. Has to try and regather it. He's tackled by Cameron. Trying to get it to Fisher. To Dersma under pressure. Brisbane have locked it in at right half forward. Lower the away then. By 63, Mick. Yeah, they were away. Just a bad drop by McDonald. He just dropped the football. Cobden looks good. I, I, I just hope that North can can uh, give him the confidence of playing in there for a year. Have a look at some of the great... Look, Glenn Jakovic was a forward. Yeah. Best centre-half back I've seen. Favourite uh, of yours, Mick, oh, too. Oh, very much a favourite of mine. Love him. Um, he, McIntosh started as a full forward. Key, key back. Fantastic player. Presti Como. Bumped into Ash McIntosh in Perth. Over the Christmas break, Scott trying to get it clear from defence here for North. Can't do so. McCluggage swoops on it. Handball away towards Danaher. He'll get around his man. Get on to the left and snap and miss. Very nearly for Joe. He's had a little bit of a nearly day in spots of the four, four six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite six, but he's certainly. I reckon it's close. Lots of texts coming through as well about the favourite grounds. Marcus in South Melbourne. It says the QEO in Bendigo and yeah. Princess Park. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful quite, quite, yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful ground. Be, yeah, big, big, big ground. It's one of the and, and long, long. Oh, it's, it's wide long. as it's well. Skin, nah, it's skinny like Oh, of course yeah. it is. That's right. Yeah, it's got length. That's right. Yeah. 64 points is the Brisbane Lions lead. Joe Danaher's kicked 4-4. Four, that's four. a good mark. That as is a Greenwood good mark. takes an excellent mark with his left arm. He had the right arm impeded by Ryan Lester. So a great mark there from the kick from... Davies Uniac. Oh. Chips it sidewards. Not 15. Scott called a play on. McInerney with a lunging effort, but Scott gets away from him. Kicks up towards Larky. He's out number two on one. It spills off hands. It goes out of play for a boundary throw in. Jared Berry makes the spoil. Brisbane by 64 points. 20 minutes gone. Final term on ABC Sports. Still to come, of course. Port Adelaide and Essendon tonight from the Adelaide Oval. Should be a good game too, that one. Yeah, that is the nightcap here on the Friday of Gather Round. Simpkin tackled quickly. Another text coming through suggesting the uh, uni ground here in South Australia. Where Peter Malinowskis plays his football when he plays club games, believe it or not. Still involved. Live footy on the wing. 64 points the Lions win, wrapped up and another ball up. It is a picture here at 
Norwood, the parade. Going to be the Lions winning comfortably. Cherry and also McInerney, and then Cherry turning tackler on Berry. He's nearly a squished Berry there. Underneath. <laughs> You've, done very, you've done very well, Ben. It must be a big gap between the, the teams, is it? <laughs> oh, he's thinking about the jams already. <laughs> I'm already ready for the jams. Are you oh. going to be up at six tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. We'll be. Ben. So Lester's not across the road trip continues tomorrow as Ben, Rama, Mick all head up to the Adelaide Hills. The kick inside 50. It passes down to her. He lets Comden gather it, hoping he'll rush it through. He kept his composure and kicks out towards Tucker. Brilliant. Who marks that left half bat. I'm falling in love with him. So I think we've worked out Charlie Comden is more of a key defender than Aiden Core. Well, he's had 23 possessions and six intercept marks. Yeah. Eight he, marks total. They might have found something today, yeah, haven't they? Oh, yeah. no doubt. No yeah. doubt, Ben. Absolutely no doubt. He's probably been the most impressive player in the final quarter, Charlie Comden. And they then, well, it. Joe's Joe's had 19 possessions and kicked four goals four and one out on the full. So yes. he, he could have really kicked eight or nine today yeah. if he had his kicking boots on. Forward, at half forward. Just look over a couple of fans. Gets the hand pass away to Shields. Kicks up inside 50. Larky got an awkward bounce. A whistle. It's coming back, and it's going to be a North Melbourne shot on goal. And it's going the way of Nick Larky, who didn't even realise it was his free kick. I don't think anyone knows. So Larky was racing back towards the goal mouth. Everyone had stopped. Umpire says it's your kick, Nick. Oh, it must have been a free kick. Off the ball, coming back to him, I reckon. I think so, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I hope he kicks his second goal. He has been murdered by the entrances today. Though. Jack Pace has done a good job on has. I, yeah. I, look, oh, no, he's a ripping player. No, make no mistake about it. They've made it awkward for him, but I like this. He, he does work hard, Larky. He's kicked one goal this afternoon. A tough day to be mm. a key forward in North Melbourne's forward line. It's across the face of goal. Out yeah. to the left, and it's rushed through for a minor score. 63 points, the margin, Rama. It feels like, like well, not doesn't feel like, North Melbourne, with their drafting, have really focused in on the midfield. I think the next phase now has got to be the, these key, uh, key position players, and, and you know, can they start to bring those in, whether it's through trade or maybe some free agency, whatever that may be. So, you, you know, if you, if, you, if you draft young key position players, they take a lot of time. I've got a funny text coming in, which I'll get to in a moment, as Brisbane try and kick it into the middle of the ground. Rainer going up, oh. then fighting after it at ground level. They merge with it. Zorko and Bailey combining. Rainer getting involved again. Live footy in the middle of the ground. Wardlaw going in, and they'll wrap it up. I've got a text here from uh, Dave Middlemass, which is Corbin's dad. Oh. said, who's driving tomorrow? Free or oval for me, Ben? <laughs> now, the interesting part about all of this is that Corbin Middlemass is on air somewhere else <laughs> right now at the Port Adelaide and Essendon game, and he's still listening to us. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Ball up on Great the logo. your company, Dave. The best team in action tonight. Zach Bailey just limping off the ground yes. here. So get Loz Big corky down the side of the league, I reckon uh, he's got. An eye on him. Lockie Neal has already been subbed out. Did you get a vantage point of that, Lauren Borden, on the boundary? I just saw him go down in the middle of the ground. So he was holding his ankle. He's now taking himself right off uh, the bench with the physio. So you'd think this might be another precaution one. Brisbane might just keep him on the bench for the rest of the game. Uh, Neil was an ankle as well. So we'll keep close checks on Zach Bailey as well. Great composure from Stasevich. Gathered, kicked up towards Fletcher at half forward. Half pass for Tunstall. Just a tad oh, to oh, intent. Oh, and that oh. comes off the knee just below, or just below the knee actually. So out of bounds on the full from Stasevich. And Liam Shields will take the free kick in his 16th season of AFL footy at right half-back. Just got another text from Dave Middlemass, the father of. He just said, see ya. And he's done with this game. As the kick goes forward of the logo, brought down for Zorko. Dumps it on his right boot, kicks forward of the logo. There for Brisbane. Shield him up up for North. Handball errant. McDonald tracking after it. He'll mop up inside defensive 50. And there's a whistle on the play. He'll come back and go to McDonald. Just had Sonia Hood and Jen yeah. Watt walk right in front of our open-air commentary box. It should be like NBA players, Dave. If you walk past us, we should be able to stop you, <laughs> ask a question, <laughs> and continue on your way. It would just be it would be nice, wouldn't it? Convenient, convenient I think. Convenient. Well, 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 it would be if, your ten, if there's a gap 40? between the size of 10 goals. Well, 
courteous, giving you a repeating our view, but also pop into the broadcast. Kick up to the wing. Cherry can't take the mark. Davies Union, good gather. A burst of pace at right half forward. He looks up inside 50. Larky's out number two on two. Flying in from the side is forward. Brought it down. Payne gathers though. Hand pass to Dunkley. Brisbane out of defence. The kick over the head of McCarthy. Races after it at half forward. Taps it on to Cameron. The Globetrotters in action. Cameron to Danaher in the goal mouth. He can't miss this one. He plays on though and puts it through. He wasn't going back to kick it, Joey. <laughs> kicks his fifth from a metre out. And he made sure there was no doubt about that one. Brisbane moved to a 69-point advantage as Joe Danaher puts through his fifth. 16-15-111 to North Melbourne. 6-6-42. Three goals to one in this final term. And as much as we praised parts of North Melbourne's game after half time. Yeah. it's that transition from yeah, defence to again, attack, which is just so easy. That's right. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a two-on-two contest inside North Melbourne's forward 50. The two Brisbane line players win the ball. Then it's, then it's gone. Yeah. Well, it's quick transition, Mick. It was. The, the decision of the North player to come out and meet the ball, I admire, but you've got to make the decision, can I get there? Correct. And he was going to be a two metre short. So as much as he showed a bit of courage, he, he made the wrong decision. Free kick going the way of North in the middle. Davies Uniac kicking out towards the eastern wing. Archie able to win it for Brisbane. Handball away to Leicester. Off to Zorko kicking around the eastern wing. Onto it McCarthy. He marks, thinks about playing on, then decides against it. He'll chip short leading up. Gardner's able to hold it to his chest. Well, he's been a good decoy Gardner, and I, when I, I say that in the nicest manner because uh, it's, he's occupied a player who generally would you'd say was going to pick up a flanker. So his marking power and his ability to lead at the ball has been very, very impressive. He's gone back just about into the middle of yeah, the Jeff, parade here at Norwood. Mark a, right on 50. It's a Jeff, Jeff Thompson run-up. There's no question about that. Here comes Tomo. He'll sling it on goal from... 55 oh. out. It is a thumping roost of a kick. It's away to the left. A minor score. So 70 points neat. Here's the Brisbane Lions advantage. They're going to win here and gather round again. Sheasel brings the Kangaroos back into play to Cobden around the boundary line. Hand pass to Zach Fisher to Scott. Back to Cobden under pressure. Jams onto the boot up towards Simpkin. Flies against Tunstall. Simpkin gathers. Hand pass to Shield. Hand pass away to Zach Fisher. Over the top, Stevenson tries to keep it in play. Around the boundary line to Simpkin. Hand pass forward to Zerha. Kicks towards half forward. The siren sounds. Brisbane gather their first four points of the season. A 70-point win against North Melbourne. As the Lions try and get their season started. A big win on the parade. We love the pride of Brisbane Lions winners by 70 points, 16 16, 112 to North Melbourne, 6 6 42 in front of 9,037 fans. The Lions lead by 33 points after seven goals to two in the opening quarter, by 56 points at half time, by 54 at three quarter time, and they run out 70 point winners. Joe Danaher put at five, two goals to Lohman, to McCarthy, to Cameron, and to Gipwood, individuals to Darcy Gardner and to Zorko, while for North Melbourne, it was a tough afternoon for them. Individual goals to Greenwood, Dersma, Larky, Curtis, Cherry and Ford. The Brisbane Lions turn their attention to Melbourne on Thursday night for North Melbourne. Winless after four rounds. It doesn't get any easier. Geelong next week. So as Clinchy said, the Brisbane Lions winning by 70 points. 16-16, 112 plays, 6-6, 42 Mick Malthouse and Adam Ramanaskis to tell us what they saw here on ABC Sport. Well, look, no, uh, uh, Brisbane did their work in the first half. They were, they were brilliant. They were ruthless in the first half with their attack on the football first and foremost, but then also the way they were moving the ball. They were moving the ball from 
from one end of the ground to, to the other. They had 39 inside 50s um, at, at half time for 11 goals. 11 goals nine. So their efficiency was also pretty good with 20 scoring shots in the, in the first half. The third quarter was was really like it's like they just came out and just went through the motions a little bit. Then the last quarter, I thought they put the foot down again. You know, three goals to one in that last quarter could have could have been more. Joey missed the, uh, a few easy ones that he, he should have he should have kicked. But look, good win for Brisbane. Get on get on the board. Get some confidence up as a, as a collective team, but also get some confidence up individually. So a good win. North Melbourne on the other hand, well, they should be bitterly disappointed with the way they played in that first half of football. Their fundamentals were off. Uh, they were they were they were fumbling the ball. They 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 couldn't get they couldn't get possession. I think it was you know it was two hundred odd possessions to one hundred and thirty mm-hmm. odd uh, in that in that first half. So you know trying to win the ball was was quite difficult. Um, but then I thought the second half they worked hard. They worked into it into that game. The th- their third quarter was was really good. They started to you know they started to not fumble. They started to move the ball. We we think they found a player in in com a uh, com boom. That uh, that played quite well as a as a as a he's centre half back. back. Yeah. So you know he had 25 possessions. He had six intercept marks. So um, you know th- that's something to persevere with there. So look, you could, you got to try find little wins when you're in North Melbourne's development stage, and a little win is finding a player today. Yeah, totally agree. I, I love. I, <laughs> One of, my, one of my little things on the side, just looking at, you know, you, you, as you were talking about where they, who they are and that sort of stuff, I'd love to see where they come from. Yeah. He's a Gippy, Gippy boy. Sorry, Mick, I might just jump in there because Lauren Borden has Josh Dunkley. Oh, beautiful. Thanks, Ben. Yes, we're able to have a quick chat to one of the Lions players before they head off the ground. Josh Dunkley, thanks for your time. There might not have been that much pressure inside Brisbane, but outside it was building. Is it still just a relief to finally get that win in the tally? Oh, I'd be lying to say it's not a little bit of an exhale, but... No, I mean, we, we know that we're not far off our best footy and today was a glimpse of, you know, what we can do across four quarters. I still feel like there were moments in the game where North sort of got on top, but we'll go to the, back to the drawing board and continue to learn like we have been over the first three or four weeks and, and yeah, get better. It might not have been perfect, but do you feel like this can then kickstart your season from here on? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got so much motivation within the group and um, we just want to keep getting better. So that's our main, main aim and, you know, we look no further the next week now in the Ds. I was about to ask how far you do look ahead. Melbourne, Geelong and GWS, it's a pretty tough block that you've got ahead. Do you group them together? Yeah, always. I think you, you love playing against the best teams in the comp and, you know, the Melbourne are going really well, Geelong are going well and GWS are going well too. So it's a big few weeks for us and we look forward to the challenge. And Mount Barker now coming here to Norwood. How did you find the ground? Have you ever had much experience playing on this oval? Not on Norwood. It feels a bit like playing at Ballarat for me, you know, back in the doggies <laughs> days. But I love this country atmosphere. It's like, you know, you get out to your back, like towards your local clubs and, and this is the atmosphere for grand finals and whatnot. So it's awesome to play here today and, yeah, we love coming together. Around. We did have a conversation about favourite local footy grounds. What is it? Is it one in Ballarat? Uh, for me, favourite local ground? Uh, no, I have to go back to where I'm from. I feel like Sale or Yarran, one of those two. No, classic, nice country footy ground there. Well, thanks for your time, Josh. Go and enjoy the win. Appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. There is uh, Josh Dunkley. Very nicely done with uh, with Lauren. Well Gordon. done, Lars. You got everything yeah, covered there. Very good. Josh yeah. has a smile on his face because yeah. Brisbane have got a win. Yeah, and uh, I I think he liked the the question about the country ground. footy grounds being a, a regional boy as oh, well. Look, so. look, the scoreboard is not is not great, but to, just this as an event. I just, I loved, I loved the feel of it all. No yeah. one left. No, I loved no the feel. Left. Everyone stayed to the to the death. Yeah, look, I was here a bit earlier with Ben because Ben likes to get the places early. Yeah, and <laughs> I'd rather be an hour early <laughs> you, than you don't. Late. You don't remember. So I went for a walk around the ground and just sort of, you know, just tried to take take all the atmosphere in. And it's, it's just, I think Nord Football Club should be very proud of themselves of how they right. how they've uh, conducted today. It was a beautiful uh, evening here. So. Loved it. So, it? have you learnt anything about Brisbane? Do you feel like you walk away yeah. from this game feeling like, well, Joe Danaher got some confidence up, Charlie Cameron maybe not as much. Um, their defence looks like no, it's no, the I, pillar of. I, I never. I haven't learnt one thing about Brisbane on top of what you already know, Maddie. I don't think there's any there that's jumped up at me and said um, they're back. Well, well, they're better, but they're not back by any stretch of the imagination because they played against a side who really were quite poor and I think a good football side does not let North no. get back in the game in the third quarter. In fact, after half time it was, it was five goals to, to three. three goals. Yeah. That's not a thumping by any stretch of the imagination when you're a dominant side. You've got dominant forwards, dominant backs. 
your mids are going well okay Lockie Neal came off the ground in the third quarter but I, I didn't learn anything today to say uh, Rainer's, Rainer's going to change his, his attitude that uh, he's going to be a better player consistently uh, Cameron's not better than what he was last year the two forwards the two forwards actually played a part that's the only thing that I'll say I just they didn't seem to get in each other's road and that's a bonus given the fact that they kicked uh, nine goals bet- uh, eight goals between them and we know Lockie Neal is a Brownlow medalist if he has a first half like that Brisbane are going to look uh, a much better think, team that's I think, right I think we know Brisbane are a good team alright so we don't learn necessarily unless they change it the, unless yeah. they change things they haven't right but but what Brisbane get out today is confidence. Yeah, of course. That's what the, you know. Sometimes that injection of confidence is all that is you all need. that a team needs. Yeah, yep. just a little yeah. soft but, kill. Yeah. But if you said the other side, what's North North learned? Well, we've learned a lot about North that they've. No, I don't think they've got the manpower. But Cob Cobden, Cobden. Cobden. it's got Cobden. a B in it, but it's yeah. Cobden. Yeah. yeah, he he. I was so impressed in him. I, I know that, that look, the votes are going to say that Danaher's getting a getting a vote. But under under siege, what seventy one to thirty one inside fifties is, is a massacre. Uh, but not on the, the scoreboard. Yes, we've seen two twice now. We've come to South Australia and seen uh, Brisbane smash North Melbourne seventy five. I think sixty something today. But I, I I think a kid like that was under under the pump. But he showed enough today. Sometimes people can actually panic, go into their shell. He actually stayed very alert. He went for his marks. He went for his kicks. He's a young player. He's got some height. Um, I, I like him. I really like, and I think North Melbourne got something today out of out of him. Yeah, the, Kang, um, the Kangas have got Geelong next week. Well, I'll get belted again. They got Hawthorne the following week. Well, that'll be, be Alistair interesting. Clark well, that'll be interesting. Sam Mitchell with neither side. Hawthorne yeah. have got Collingwood. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It starts to build, and then uh, the following week Adelaide. But there's no pressure there, Matt, because we know Clarkson's contracted. Uh, uh, Rama said, you know, look, you, you can't ignore the fact that he's won a lot of premierships. Um, so so there's no pressure on him to win or lose. And, and, and the same is going to, you know, it's going to fall to Mitchell as well. There's no pressure on Mitchell because he took over from from Clarkson. Yeah. And I don't think that Hawthorne can afford to even suggest that there's problems there. So I think both coaches are very, very, very secure. It's just a matter of who's going to win the game. They, they have won nine games over four yeah. years. North. But the they key, have to start the winning to, quarters. The key to North Melbourne is turning this top-end talent into bona fide AFL footballers. Yeah. And how quickly can they do that? The quicker they do that, that turns the fortunes around quicker. Yeah. Okay? Well, I was surprised Premiers them in number ones, you said. Yeah, well, Premiers was... have never been older, though, as well, which is the interesting part. So Geelong, the oldest ever Premiership team, and then Collingwood, yeah. the second oldest. So, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of young talent, but what we're learning is it does take a little while for them to get oh, to their absolute it, do- it does. It does. Uh, but, but don't give me this thing about, oh, we've got to, we've got to give them games. That's rubbish. No, I, I you've, totally got to, you've got to give them games when they deserve games. Yeah, I, I totally agree. That, that premiership, my last premiership side, was the youngest in fifty odd years, and it, and it had eight uh, or seven or eight uh, rookies in it. So there's no there's no single side that says you win a premiership. Whether yeah. Geelong being the the most uh, the oldest, uh, the eldest, and Collingwood uh, twelve years ago being one of the youngest over fifty years, it, it doesn't matter. You, 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 you've, you've got a job. You cross that white line, you are expected to hold up. Yeah. There might be a battle one-on-one. You go, well, that yeah. the bigger man won that because he's more experienced. And he may yeah. well have won it. But it, it could easily be, oh, he won it because he's more, yeah. he's more enthusiastic. But what you have said throughout the afternoon and, and evening is it, it feels like they just don't have the cattle at the moment. Not at the moment. So they, they, that takes well, that takes drafts to fix, doesn't it? Well, you have to drive improvement, don't yeah. you? Yeah, but Around the standards. The, the, thing, the you team. get in, You get in a Zach Fisher, you get in a Dylan Stevens. Are they yeah. difference makers? That's what you got. Are they going to move the needle for you now? No, I'd see, that's, they're not. See, see, that's, that's, that's that recruitment thing. Look, the only thing I'll ask uh, answer about that, Raman, you know better than me because you're in that game, is are they better, are those two players better than the 62nd player? Because we, we used to draft 115 players. Yeah. Now we're drafting 60. So are those players better than the 61st, 2nd and 3rd player? Only you, well, the club can answer that. But don't, don't p- pick one of those players who's going to make you go sideways for the sake of a 30th or 40th pick player who may well mm. jump up. You said about Larky. What did you say his number was? He's picked 73. 73. He's an incredible so, pick. So, 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 well, those things weren't necessarily incredible 
years ago. No, I know, but... But 73 is a fantastic... For a bloke who's 200 centimetres and won their goal kicking and will win it this year and will win it next year if he's in, not injured and he'll win it for the next five or six years yeah. if he can get some support. So Who, who was your late pick? Was it Hetty or Kemp? Uh, Kemp, Kemp was 116. McIntosh was 115. Kemp was... Kemp was uh, sorry, Hetty was 50 or 60. Um, Evans was... In yeah, there somewhere. Is, yeah. um, one of the best ones I've been managed to be part of was um, Chris Grant. I think he was 103 yeah. or 105. Yep. Mm. Everyone had a chance to pick him. He, yep. was, he wasn't as if he was hidden away under some rock. The same as James Heard. He was yep. Jimmy Heard. Or whatever. Yeah, 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 everyone else had 95, a chance. I think. Everyone 95. else had a chance to pick him. Yep. So does exactly. it almost become your second most important position, your recruiter behind oh. your, your coach? Oh, you've got to get him right. Oh yeah, your list, your list manager, then oh. your head of recruiting. Yeah, you've got yeah. To, those two, those two roles are, are critical. They're, so they're, how you build your list? There's your future. Yeah, but so then it's the, the conversation between the coach and your list manager of, well, how do you want to coach them? You, then you've, you've got to go and pick those players. And finding the Tom Stewarts, the mature yeah, age yeah, players right. of the world yeah, exactly. that are out there. Yeah. Uh, no late changes for Port Adelaide and Essendon. So the subs, Jace Burgoyne and Nick Hind, will send you to that game in five minutes' time. Uh, we do need the votes. Oh. Who's taking the hospital well, handball? Well, it's been, it's been flick pass to me. Not even a hand pass. It's been a flick pass. Yeah. So I, I need to respect my elders, Nick. You know no, you, of course. Well, the only one does, Lee, does he? He just jumps straight in and does the first three. And then he says, what's your pick? <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly, the, clearly yours, Lee. Um, I found it hard to really, when, when you analyse the game, which is so dominant, uh, that there would be five, six players probably coming from Brisbane. Probably. I say probably. So I've picked Danaher for a one point. You know, I just thought big key forward, dominated. And we could have, and we're going to say this forever with him, could have kicked seven or eight. Yeah, kicks, he kicks five. He's kicked five goals, four, and had 12 marks and 20 possessions. And 11, and that's, 11 that's, score involvements. Yeah, but also I reckon he did better in the ruck than what he does normally. He starts, he's now starting to jump. He's no longer just going to get smashed in the ruck, which was, which was handy for Brisbane. Uh, Lockie Neal, I've got uh, as two points, only because he, he probably, if he had stayed on the ground, he would have got three. He, he was just dominant, totally dominant. Yeah. I can't understand why sides don't tag him, because he can be tagged. Uh, not always, but he can be tagged. McCluggage is, is going to get the three. I've been a little bit of a critic of him, goal-kicking and also consistency. Today, he was consistent right across the board. Inside 50s, I think he had uh, 10. 500-odd uh, metres, that, that's that's a, a, a very, very handy game. I'm, contested football was quite high, and um, he was there all the time. You, you, when you looked up, he was always around it. It wasn't just one quarter. He was there for four quarters. And, and uh, he's a player that can take Brisbane to the next level. The next level is a premiership. It won't be through... Through Lockie Neal, Lockie Neal's already done that. Um, not taken through a premiership, but but demonstrated it's the McCluggages of this world that will take him to the next one to win. Uh, so just recapping the votes: one to Danaher, two to Neal, three to McCluggage. Brisbane by 70 points. The votes from Mick Malthouse. Uh, recapping as well: Lockie Neal did finish the game with ice on his right ankle, but the Brisbane Lions telling telling us that's just uh, a precaution. As it is, so uh, A-OK, Lockie Neal. They've got a short break. They uh, they play Melbourne on uh, Thursday night, so that will come around very, very quickly. Uh, Mick, are you ready to go tomorrow morning? He's ready to go now. Yeah, he wants to get I'm up there now. Walk. Are you gonna be walk? <laughs> we're driving or walking? Uh, you, you endeared yourself to Who, me in the, the second actual... half, so I'm willing to drive you. Who's the actual Who? captain? Who's making the final calls? So what well, time are leaving? Well, he's full-time at the, at, at the ABC. He's got to make sure he gets the car full of petrol, ready, picks me up. I mean, I'm not going out with you today. Surely you're going to pick me up from the, from the hotel. Oh, no. No, we're, we're getting the Uber uh, or the, the taxi out to um, the ABC HQ here in Adelaide in Collinswood. And then from there, Mick, we are shooting off to... Don't, uh, don't be late, Rama. They won't wait for you. Oh, I'm not going there. No, no you're not going. He's got call, a later call and I. Where, got, where are the later? Yeah, yeah, where? He, he, he won't go and get jammed. Yeah. There's a... There's a uh, <laughs> There's a divide in the commentary team yeah, tomorrow. That's so, yeah, and, and, and if you listen tomorrow, you'll hear that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is uh, the Brisbane Lions who have won by 70 points, 16, 16, 112, play 6, 6, 
42. Uh, just recapping where we're sending you next, Port Adelaide and Essendon. You'll join Corbin Middlemass, Clint Wilden, Cameron Ling and Josh Franco, while Alan, Aaron Bryans will be down on the boundary. Uh, gents, a final thought on uh, the beautiful parade here at Norwood, which we've witnessed this afternoon. I, I think it's just terrific for football. I, I, the whole concept is great. It's fabulous. I'm just even walking with that... that uh, bloke today from Newcastle who said he's going to get a seven games. Yeah. There, there it is. There is a nutshell. Not not handpicked this bloke. Just walking along, wants to go to the game and wants to walk here and take in Adelaide. So I think that, uh, that probably epitomises. Exactly. Loved it. Football should always be for the people. Yeah. And today it just looked like the people were enjoying themselves at the Too football. right. Too right. It's a tough one because you've got to find the right matchup for this venue, don't you? Yeah. It only holds yeah. 10,000 so you have to sort of handpick the contest but I'm going to go try one of the local establishments, see what the, the vibe is right in the area. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Watch out for Matt Clinch if you're in the of, area. A little, little bit of brown liquid. <laughs> no, no, just go have a wander around the streets. I think it'll still be a hive of activity after the game. You know, and I wore I wore shorts. So <laughs> <laughs> my legs are cool. We're out in the open. I'm freezing. <laughs> Uh, uh, Nick Malthouse, Adam Ramanaskis, uh, Matt Clinch and Ben Cameron. We've enjoyed bringing it to you. Brisbane 16-16, 112 over North, 6-6-42. The Lions winning by 70 points, their first win of the season. We can send you to the Adelaide Oval. Corbin Middlemass, Clint Wilden, Cameron Ling, Josh Franco and Aaron Bryans. That is coming up. It is Port Adelaide and Essendon. The nightcap on this Friday Arvo as Gather Round on ABC Sport continues. Goodbye.